This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys, and welcome back to TNG Productions. My name is Tom and we're back for a new season of Malifaux Battle Reports and it's a little bit different this season. I'm taking a redacted keyword that I've not announced to anyone and I've recorded three battle reports using them against Dave, Chris and Courtney where I'm basically using them for the very first time. So you're going to see my first three games with this keyword that we're going to reveal in a moment. And the idea is that I can explain what I'm learning as I play and kind of how I go about approaching learning new keywords. Now the guys have done me a real solid. They have followed in suits. So they're all playing brand new masters that really, really came out in the game lately. Um, that they've only had a few games with just to get the bearings and we're all playing purely in keywords we've lost the old rule where we used to allow one versatile we're pretty much pure keyword now which anyone who listens to the podcast would know to expect that so the usual caveat supply we're very much casual players playing for fun we've recorded all three battle reports in advance just to make sure the surprise works for every player as they come along so if there are any rule errors just roll with them because they're going to consistently happen for the next two or three games and thanks to the support of Weird, we have got core boxes for each of my opponent's masters, which is Castor, Tiri, and Tull, available to give away. So if you've not seen these battle reports before, let us know in the comments who you think the most valuable player or best player or most exciting moment was. Or especially for this one, let me know if you've got any cool, fun tips for the master that I'm about to reveal. But I think that's pretty much everything covered. So without further ado, let's reveal this master. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Right. So first we have to solemnly swear that you're not going to tell anyone about this. Oh, why would I ruin the fun? <laughs> I so, ruin do the you fun. have any final guesses? Do you have any final guesses? I've always said Asami. Asami. And I will say Asami now. Okay. So when you are ready, you may pull off the towel. Right, I'm not going to pull, knock anything over. No, no. I'm is. dyspraxic aware. All right. Ooh. It's raspy. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, I did not expect Raspy. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you paint them so well as well. You got the silver, the um, the ice, right? Oh, he's one of my first loves. Oh, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> pleased. I, I, that is not a Tom Pan Arcade. There you go, your tier list of I who you thought I was I was, I was, I did not expect this. I but... should say, uh, time of recording, Ashes has just been announced. So you know you guys have been falling over that big croc. Yeah, I know. Guess who gets the mid three beta? <laughs> you've got three, you've got three models in the, in, in I've, I've, the got, I've got the Eldritch Elk as well. I yeah, know. so you know that defensive crew, I've made it, made it a murder crew. Anyway, we'll go to our list. Right, so I can finally reveal that my crew for this season is going to be Rasputina's December keyword. Are you excited, Courtney? I'm excited. I'm excited. I've, I've been planning and painting it for a long, long time. Yeah, and it's like, it's like a blast from the past for me because this was essentially my One first One of your crew. first. It was indeed. So this is why you're the ideal person to learn with. So just off camera, I'm just going to show him now is our best boy that we're competing for. So he's still in the running. Um, Rasputina's keyword, I'm going to explain quite a bit, revolves around ice pillars, as you might expect. She puts out a lot of pillars that when you activate near them, you will gain slow or you have to discard a card, hmm. either or. Um, aside from that, we've got some big damage dealers. We've got a lot of movement shenanigans. She used to be known for being really slow, but as she's improved, when I started collecting this, this was like pre errata pre-new models, and over the last like year, I've just watched her grow and yeah. grow and grow. So. Yes. This is my first time playing her, so I'm going to play it really simple. We've got Rasputina 1. This is Ice Pillar Master version. She puts out loads. I have taken her totem, the Wendigo, which is a little bit of a brawler, but can also nick her Ice Pillar creation. We've got no henchmen in this list. I've gone straight for enforcers, and we've got them for some big ones. We've got the 10 Soulstone Ice Golem, who's also been equipped with a Soulstone Cache, so he can use Soulstones and he can recharge my pool if something dies uh, within three of him, an enemy. We've also got the Blast of December, Schema, Jumper, Murder Extraordinaire, really good damage track, and it's 246 or something, inbuilt leap, all good. We've got two silent ones there, the girls at the front. They also help with Soulstone, uh, with Soulstone generation and the fact they can use them as well. So, what, four of my crew can use Soulstones? I thought that might mitigate any of my mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, we've got the cow guys, the smaller ice models. They're really good because they act as portable ice pillars. So it means that if there aren't any in the right position, I can arc my attacks or use them rather than using the actual tokens themselves. But this crew are quite tanky 
quite quick on their feet and they can do really good confined focus damage if they get everything in position. But realistically, I want to spend one or two turns controlling. If you're learning a crew for the first time, I strongly recommend you do something like this. You take multiple copies of the same models, learn those, and then start to expand it. We did something very similar with the Vixies and with the two Ronin and the two Sister Masters. But yeah, let's go see what Courtney's brought us. And this is Courtney's crew for today. Now, these look weirdly familiar, but a little distorted, Courtney. What have you brought? I brought the OG Nephilim. Have you done? Yeah, yes, I have. Yeah, the old Gene Nephilim. You are playing um, him in Neverborn, which counts. Who's this? I am playing Castor, oh. uh, uncle to Nekima. He's just woken up and he's wondering what is going on. <laughs> um, so I've got Castor one today. Um, I have his lovely totem, which is Merifane. Uh, one thing to point out about Merifane, he doesn't die. Yeah, um, that's kill Castor, don't you? Yeah, um, Castor himself is basically a bit schemey, a bit schemey. He's not like Castor 2 who's full and wants to no. large and in charge, we would say. He has got one big beefy attack that he can do on big yeah, positives. Yeah, he, he, he does one back slap and then gets a bit tired. <laughs> um, but he can he can enthrall people, which is really cool. He can do dominate them. Uh, and he just did some tr interact tricks as well. It looks like you've taken an absolute scumbag as a henchman over here. No, I haven't. Some might he say. got, he, he has been kicked out, but, uh, by Nekima's crew, but he's been lovingly brought in by the OG. Bloody um, Barbaros. It's Barbaros. Uh, it's not the nice Barbaros with the two-handed sword, but uh, he is a good Barbaros. Full metal Barbaros. Barbaros. Full metal Barbaros, but he is a, it is a good Barbaros. So I've got Barbaros there. I mean, he's an outcast beater. He, he does well. It's nice to see him back in Neverborn. Uh, shut up, you. Um, I have, talking about Nephilim, we've got the Cavern Nephilim. Um, These guys I do like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought you might. I thought you might. Awesome, awesome guys. Yeah. Very, very, you'd be surprised how quick these actually yeah, end up can, being. can absolutely secure objectives on their own. Exactly. Score points on their own. Exactly, good beaters, good good flankers. We've got Gwil, who, who is my henchman, who's going to be whispering to Castle and giving him some tips and tricks. Yeah. Um, we've got the Urn Bearer, who is... Gorgeous model. Yeah, gorgeous model, yeah. Uh, just leave him alone. You don't need to worry about the Urn Bearer. <laughs> don't... Don't, don't attack They don't it. power up the crew. Yeah, they don't power up the crew or do anything. Just leave the Ember alone. And then we've got two of my lovely minions there. Um, you forgot what they're called. I forgot, forgot what they're called. <laughs> they're called, but... Uh, I'll put the card on screen. You put the card they're, on screen. They're the resurrectionist side, aren't they? They are the resurrectionist side. They're undead Nephilim. Nice. So they've still got a bit of black blood in them. But they're Just a bit stale. A bit stale, a bit stale. So the main mechanics of this crew are what? Overhealing? Basically, yes. Um, when they, if, uh, they overheal, I think everybody outside the Gwil and the Sword, uh, uh, things happen. Yeah. So Faith in Flesh is the most common one, which is two-inch push, isn't two it? Two-inch push. Uh, they can also reduce, when it's activated, they can reduce health to heal somebody else, to pocket. A lot of shielded and stuff uh, they can put um, out yeah, focus. The Urn Bear is, is going to be throwing his game, going throwing her game of juice around as well. Um, so And... Castor pings whenever he overheals, so it's very much on the healing side of the... Yeah, nice mix of black blood, nice mix of resi tech with heart yeah. wound and everything. So we'll set up the board and we'll go and get ready for this. And here we are all set up for today's game. I mean, I, we really don't have to wonder about why, you know, cannibals and vampires are descending on a village town. It's basically who can get the, the victims first. It, it, it's, you know, it's a buffet. It's, a, it's literally a buffet. <laughs> we both come at the same time to the buffet, but there's not only enough seats for one of our That's, crews. It's, it's that tavern in the middle. It's like who can get in there <laughs> yeah. and literally eat the inhabitants. It's a bit of a dark tone to this one. <laughs> Um, as you can see by the layout, we're playing standard deployment and we've got Stuff the Ballots. This is the one where you basically, we're going to vote. So we're going to democratically decide who gets to eat this village. Yes. So after turn, sorry, from turn two onwards, we basically get to put down vote markers. Look, we're not monsters. <laughs> we will, we will, we do abide by democracy here. We should not have Cannibals and vampires <laughs> understand voting. It's all good. So I will flash up the scheme pool on screen. We have Let Them Bleed, Information Overload, deliver a message, ensnare, and deathbeds. And you can look away now as I flash up which ones Courtney and myself went for. We have fully deployed ourselves. We have flipped for initiative. Your double H and pact helped you get just over me. Indeed. You've decided for me to go first. Even with my magical training, I've stoned, so I'm down <laughs> to five. You're on your normal four that you're starting with. I am. Any plans, hopes, and dreams? Um... Advance slowly and cautiously and... Yeah. Um, carry a big stick. And carry a big stick. Which you literally have. Yes, I have, yeah. Right, so let's get into it. Activation one of turn one, which will be the Arcanists. 
Right then, that's why I'm starting the game. This is how my hand looks after stoning and with Arcane Reservoir. And yeah, that's a thing that we're going to have to manage this turn. So I'm going to activate this big slammy boy, Kalkgeist. And the first thing it's going to do is try and use Icy Winds. So this is a two inch pulse that can draw range and line of sight from another ice pillar within eight. And conveniently, these guys actually count as ice pillars for friendly effects. I'm going to draw range and line of sight from this one. It is a two inch pulse that comes from both of them and friendly December or Savage models can push three inches. So we need to flip a six for this to go off. See what we get. We get a red joker. <laughs> that, I mean, if you're gonna start a season of battle reports, I'll take that. So I will take the... You know what? It's such a great card to start a crew with, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> it's a boat as well. I'm gonna take defensive reflexes, which allows me to gain a shielded and I'm just gonna push everything off camera now. And everybody's moved up the board a little bit. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk to this position here to be within two of everybody just for the other Calc guys to do the same trick in a minute. And I'm going to take the concentrate action. And that's me all done. Right. OK, so I'm going to go with Gwil first, I think. I think that's a good idea. Don't so forget to show your hand to camera. I will. And you know what? To break tradition, I'm actually going to show the cards on camera because I've got the viewfinder here. So look, you can actually see what I've got. The evolution of Courtney's the recording evolution ability. Of Courtney, it's a professional um, gamer. Um, so Gwil is going to go. I'm going to do my, my bonus action first, which is Wise Counsel. So I'm going to tell some wise thoughts to cast all. Are you like, going to drop some untruths like Nelly did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all I need is a four for this to go off. So let's put this down. And that is not a four, that is a three. So we're going to have to cheat. And do it, do it. Cheat some cards. I will, I will. And I've got plenty to cheat because I'm going to cheat in this four. So all that's going to do is he's going to give Castor one focus. He's going to go, you know what, Will? You're right. You're right. I, I should hit them in the head. Um, so we've got that focus there. I'll put that on in a minute. Okay, so that's the focus there. Next, I'm going to do my action. I'm going to do decay. Now I'm going to decay onto the urn bearer, uh, which might sound like a weird maneuver, but I've got method in my mouth. Your things are already dead, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna flip a card. Uh, it's a two, but she's gonna relent. Now I'm gonna use the inbuilt trigger, which is life and death. If it's a friendly model, it heals too. Nice. Uh, but Courtney, why would you overheal? Why would that overheal? Because that's Castor's thing. He loves <laughs> to overheal. Uh, so a bunch of things are going to happen, essentially. She's going to get to move two inches. Because she overheals. And because she overheals and she's the urn bearer and she's moving four of us, two of herself, or sorry, four of herself, she gets a shielded, so she actually gains shielded one. I'm really, really, really trying to hold back this early in the game because everyone knows how much I hate Castor making bathwater jokes with the urn bearers, but it's, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's, it's lovely to So she is shielded one now. And then I think what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to do it again. I'm going to decay her again because uh, I need more bathwater. you got to feed the simps. More bathwater. Uh, so let's do it again. Yeah, she's going to relent, inbuilt trigger, it's a ram anyway. Uh, so she's going to move two inches again, because it's, that is not one person action. So she's going to move to here. Probably a little bit backwards because I don't want to get absolutely mulled with shooting. But she's going to gain shielded two. So I'll put the dice on it now. And that, my friends, is well done. Lovely. Right, it went so well last time, we're gonna do it again. So this Kalkgeist is gonna shimmy its four inch walk up to around about there. It's gonna take the concentrate action and it's gonna to attempt to bonus action and icy wins, needing a six. Get a four. I will cheat in the seven of rams, which will again trigger defensive reflexes for a shielded. And I will draw a line of sight for this other Kalkgeist and we'll just shimmy everyone up again. And most of the models haven't quite gone the full three inches. We've just repositioned a little bit because we don't really want to run straight into the giant demonic vampires of stabs. So we've got the blessed that's gone down the wing this way. The golem's kind of going up to play Enforcer, but that's pretty much it for the Kalkgeist. Right, I'm going to go with the model that I think 95% of people that have gone for Castor have actually gone to play. Castlevania. We <laughs> that's literally the reason this keyword exists. I'm going to go with Marathane, the floating sword. 
Uh, so my thing is just gonna he's gonna show my intent. He's gonna announce my coming. With your model that can't die. Yeah. So strong. <laughs> oh, so God. brave. So he's going he's gonna go. And then he's gonna go. Yeah, that doesn't fill me with joy. And he's just gonna sit there and call. Is it significant? The sword can it interact? It is not significant. Thank God for that. Right. I don't know how it interacts. Just unlocks the door. Castor can use a bonus action to drop a ski marker next to Ah, uh, right, so you can get mileage out of it yes. that way. So that is the sword. Nice. So I'm going to go with the Wendigo. It's going to walk to, intention is to be just within 12 of this voting icon here. So basically I have to go to like the edge of the house here. And then I'm going to attempt to steal Raspy's uh, Ice Pillar generation. Now when I do this with December's Pawn, I can do it with a stat of four. So I need a seven for this to go off, and I mean, if I flip a tome, that's even better. So let's see what we get. We get a 13, Ooh. I mean, it loves it. So I'm just gonna generate an ice pillar just it begins. there. The first of many over these battle <laughs> reports. Um, and that's the one to go good turn. I'm not gonna use any bonus actions. Right, okay, I'm gonna go with the urn bearing now. Uh, we need to get some more of that game of juice. <laughs> that they... A G fuel. <laughs> yeah, that G fuel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk to here, just a little bit more forward. Just to get out of Barbaros. Yeah, because Barbaros can't get past and that would be really awkward. Can Barbaros not fly? Barbaros cannot fly. He's the slowest model in the street. Shame that, mate. Yeah. Shame that he can't fly. If he would have been loyal, he could. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're not going to get in there. He is loyal. He's gone to the OG, all right? Um, so she's going to move to there. Now she's going to attempt to lure Gwil, uh, because Gwil, I don't want Gwil to fall behind. Um, Granny. Exactly. Come, back. <laughs> Come with me. So I do need a six for this. So it's a six. Yeah. Yay. So it happens. So Gwil gets to move. Oh, God. Ow. They're caught you with trees. The greatest foe. My greatest foe is trees. So Gwil gets to move five inches, which is basically going to get a base contact. When Gwil ends a movement within two, or any model, essentially, um, she gets to heal one. Uh, nice. The, the Umberry heals her for one. So, um, so Gwil's going to overheal, which is going to put her shielded to three, which is there. So I've done my movement, I've done alert, and now I'm going to do my bonus action because I'm full. I'm too full of that too game of juice. Too full of that game of juice. And Castor, he's got his mouth open. He's ready for <laughs> oh some, dear. He's ready to drink some uh, juice. So she's going to empty the urn on Castor. So she gets to, she's going to reduce the shielded by three, so she's going to lose all her shielded. And Castor is going to heal four. Yeah, And gain a, a second focus. So he's on focus two now. But, funnily enough, that's going to overheal, cast off. So she's going to gain another shielded. So she's going to be back on shielded one. And that is, so she's, she's going to get the, uh, the going to get the game of juice again for next turn. That's so that, pretty good. So that is the urn burial. Lovely. So you've just drawn a card. I have because of ancient patch, which I remembered, <laughs> which is a surprise. We've not had to tattoo our arms for this battle report yet. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to activate Raspitina, which means you can also do shenanigans. Yes, Gwil's like, look, master, <laughs> she's activating. So I get to discard a card and draw a card, which only, only lately did I think you just drew a card, uh, which was just completely wrong. <laughs> I've done that for like several games. It's all good. Uh, it, was only, it took Johnny to tell me that uh, I was doing it wrong, so I get to draw a card now. Very nice. So, uh, we've done some easy activations. We're now going to go with quite a big, complicated one, which is Rasputina. So, mm -hmm. she is going to activate. She's got a lot of really interesting abilities. We're going to try and play it simple to start with, which is by generating some ice pillars. So, this uh, can be arced through other ice pillars, thanks to throws through Ice Mirror. Mm -hmm. But the Wendigo has got Frozen Conduit, which means it can count as an ice mirror. So, basically, I'm going to arc node through the Wendigo. Okay. So, it is a stat 6 with a tome built in, needing an 11. So, I need a 5 here. We get a 13, which is super successful to start with. Yes. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cheat in the 5 of tomes. For that double tomes. Now, Raspi has an ability called Glacial Surge, which is whenever I cheat a card during her activation, um, I may then draw a card, but I can only do this up to the amount of ice pillars that are within an eight to a maximum of three. I've mm. got a Kalkgeist here and a Kalkgeist here. Rough. So I'm going to draw a card. I then have to declare my triggers. So I'm going to declare uh, Frozen Domain. However, if I'm arcing through 
an ice pillar or frozen mirror, I have to discard a card to be able to do that. So I'm going to discard a four of crows. However, I can then draw a card. <laughs> so I'm going to draw this hand sculpting. It's like Finch's Battle Report all over again. So we're looking like this now. And I'm just going to put those two pillars out. So you can see I've put an ice pillar on that nice little pathway by your Urn Bear and Gwil just to get in Barbaros's way a little bit. And I've mm -hmm. put another one just next to the big old sword. Um, it's worth saying that you do not gain cover for these ice pillars. And in I case anyone's wondering, basically, if Corny activates within an inch of them, he's got to discard a card or gain slow. Yes. And it's a this or that decision. So. It is. Anyway, second thing we're going to do, which is also new, is her December's Passage bonus action. So I target an ice pillar marker. Um, choose any number of friendly December models within two of it. So I'm going to target this Kalkgeist, who's just down mm -hmm. here. Um, and then I increase the T end of the action by the total combined size of all the chosen models. So Raspi is size two. This silent one is size two. So I would increase the T end by four, which is a T end of 15. And I am stat seven. So mental maths, Courtney. I, I, I love that you like, asked me. I need an eight, I want to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see what happens. So I need an eight for this to go off. I get a three. So I'm going to cheat in this eight so that it goes off. This is my final, because I've got a new ice pillar here, ability now that means I can draw a card. And I think that was facing the wrong way. So we draw this card. Courtney didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't that. see that. I did you not see know what it is. Um, and I now get to push the ice pillar marker four inches, ignoring friendly December models. And then I can place all the chosen models within two inches of the target. So we'll just do that. And as you can see, we have shimmied up a little bit. And we've still got two AP Courtney, despite you all have. of this. I mean, I can't manipulate my hand anymore now, though. So we're going to just try and create some more ice pillars. So stat six needing an 11. We get a seven, so that is successful. So we'll just place another ice pillar. And we've just put one literally just over here. We're building the wall, Courtney. You are, you are like, building the wall. We have our voting rights, we want that. And then <laughs> it's Tom. I could put more ice out, but I'm going to attack something. So I'm just going to use a winter strike. I am going to arc it from this one here, just so I've got enough range, because sure. it's a 12 inch... Actually, no, I'm within 12 of your own bearer. I'm yeah, going to shoot be. your own bearer. Now, you will get cover for this, because there is a wall in the way. There is. Um, this is going to be stat six versus your defense, mate. Defense five up to six because of the cover. Uh, 16. Oh. Also 16. Do you want to cheat? Um, yeah, let's cheat a little bit. I'll go to... 17. Let's see what you got. Okay, I will go to 19. Ooh. And I will declare the chill trigger on this. Ooh, okay. nasty. So, uh, it's going to get a new negative added to it because of your cover. Yes. So, double negative flip. Yes. So, one, two, three. So, that is going to be uh, two damage to you. Down to one because of the shield is. But it does have a blast on this. It does. So I'm going to put the blast here. Yeah. So this says that if any of this action's blast markers are touching an ice pillar, the target suffers plus one damage. So actually right. you take another damage. Uh, so that will so be the urn barrier. Yeah? yeah. So that'll be two. Uh, Gwil will just take the one. He will. Because it's a blast and it it's is. a bit of one. But these two will now gain slow because I have damage. They will because we're chill. But and you didn't arc that, did you? So you don't No, I just card. shot you basically yes. from a distance. Cool. So the Urnberry is on four health now and Gwil is on seven. And I believe that is Rasputina all done. Can I just say, as, as the OG Raspy player, <laughs> it's so cool to see how much maneuverability she's got now. She's so quick now, like the, the whole meme of her being super slow does not apply anymore. Definitely not, definitely not. Right. I think uh, we need to move some stuff out of the way. <laughs> um, so Castor's going to be like, Minion, move this stupid Get this ice fella. out of the way. So he's got, yes, master, I will move. Is Castor mates with Euripides? Can you not give him a phone call and be like, are they not old, Castor, old boys together? Yeah, you know, I, I reckon it could do. It could do. So he's going to move to there. Uh, probably just to there, actually. Uh, and he's just going to just going to uh, smash that ice That's pillar. completely fair. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I'm not going to do him all this action because there's no point interacting uh, at this time. Uh, so that is him done. Lovely. I don't believe you asked for consent before you remove my ice pillar there, Courtney. Um, yeah, well, when you put it in my bat lawn, <laughs> then, it's, then it's my fault. It's, it's, that's it. So I'm going to go with this silent one. We're just going to see if we can put it back. So they have ice pillars as well. Indeed. They have a stat six with a tone built in, so they need an 11. So we're looking for a five. And we flip. 
A seven, we are successful, so I'm just going to put another one back there, Courtney. Oh, that's very annoying. Just to be a pain in the neck. And I've done that to many people at times like yeah, that. It's like, but it's, it feels weird to have it done to, to me. To have it done to you. And then uh, we've got a little bit of a line of sight down this way. So I'm going to try and make another one. So we're going to try again. We are successful. So I'm going to put another one just off camera within an inch of the voting token that's just down here, just so that um, if I want to play counterplay next turn, I've got mm. that available. That is two actions all done by my silent one. No bonus action, all done. Well, Tom, you know, guess who's back? Back again. Disappointment. It's, <laughs> it's Barbaros, and he's, he's, he's back to fight to get the Nephilim back with the OG. Uh, I don't know how you feel about the fact that they're actually family and it seems that they're quite cordial. Yeah. Uh, but well, maybe he doesn't know. He maybe, doesn't know. maybe. Well, let's not tell him. Um, he's not on the Christmas card. So he. he has regen one because he's Nephilim. Yep. Uh, which is going to overheal him. Now, his is a bit different. His Brewmaster would mean that I could actually choose anybody within four to move. Brewmaster. Could, Brewmaster. Brood Fighter. Brood Fighter. Uh, it's close. Uh, so he's going to move to here. Yeah, he's not got faith in flesh because he's a legacy model, isn't he? So yeah. that's it. He's going to move to there. Then he's going to walk over here because his wings don't work. <laughs> Sad Barbara yeah. noises. Why don't my wings work? Weird. <laughs> uh, and you know what he's going to do? I'm just going to check because we should... Yeah, you better measure this because this is a jerk move. <laughs> it's not a jerk move. I could have done it on Raspit. Everyone you, you kills my, my totem. Mercy. Whenever I play Arcanist, people want to kill my totems. Right, I'm going to go for your totem. Right. I'm going to go two for two on totem killing. Okay. Uh, so we're going to bring it. Fight me, weird icy ghost. Um, so bring it. It's stat five against your willpower. Which is five. I actually have decent willpower. Uh, 13. Uh, I'm on 16. Oh. Come to me, um, weird icy gold man. I will go to 17. Well, go away, leave my totem alone. Well, fine. Yeah. <laughs> fine then. Yeah. You have your totem. Go away. Uh, that's by Russell. Nice. Right, now that you've tried to bully my bloody totem, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and bully an Urbara. So I'm going to go with silent one number two. Okay. She is going to try an ice blast. This is an eight inch shooting attack, but she is going to arc it through this ice pillar that is within eight inches, which okay. means I'm ignoring cover because I'm basically shooting straight at your urn bearer. Okay. So this is stat five versus your defense, mate. Six currently. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm on 17. Shockingly does not go off. Leave my own bearer alone. And then I'm just going to try and create some pillars again. So I need a five for this to go off. I'm not going to arc this. I'm just going to make them from where I am. Get another one. Oh, cheat in this five. So it goes off and we'll just place that as I am my activation. Right, cool. So uh, we're going to go with the blood vessel. You'll see that there's now a nice pillar blocking uh, Barbara in. It's a shame, Barbara. Yeah. It's a shame all that walking you have to do. Um, so... I'm going to go with this blood vessel here. The blood vessel is going to basically do what the other blood vessel did. It's just going to move. So it's just going to move to here. And he's just going to slam that ice pillar just so it's out of the way. Very nice. Uh, I'm not going to, again, no point doing the bonus action. So that is her done. So with nothing to beat up this turn, my ice golem is just going to lumber four inches to here to be within two of this Kalkgeist just for pushing reasons. And I'm going to take the concentrate action and just look intimidating. I'll just say as well, when the blood vessel moved towards the urn bearer, she gained a shielded because he ended, he overhealed essentially. I forgot it on the other one, but I got it on this one. Lovely. So we're good. Right, I'm going to go with Castor. Now get I've, slow, get slow, take it, Courtney. Now I have a choice now. <laughs> I can either discard a card or gain slow. Just I'm have to just, slow, it'd be fine. Uh, I'm going to discard this card. Rude. You can see it, just made sure. Uh, Gwil is going to be like, Master, here's some more advice for you. Um, She's just giving him stock tips. <laughs> so I'm going to so I'll discard this card and I'm going to hopefully draw a higher card. <laughs> um, so, other than smashing the house off camera, uh, first action I'm going to do, I'm going to slam that ice pillar out of the way because it's blocking it me. Get out of the way. I just backhand it out of the way because <laughs> uh, that's how Castor rolls. Castor is going to take a walk. 
This is blue, and I only play green decks in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Get out of my way, Pella. Uh, it's going to end with two, win two of the uh, Urn Bearer, which is going to give her another shielded, because he's going to overheal. Now, Castor could pulse out damage, but there's no one to pulse out damage to, and the sword is not near anybody to do it, so there's no point. Yeah, that pillar is, is doing me a world of good, just to be like, go away, sword. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I am going to do my bonus action now, uh, which is Broodmaster's Domain, uh, which doesn't need Rhino Sight on a uh, uh, range, uh, but I do need a four for this to go off, so I'm going to flip it. Why does why is, why is God's forsaken? You've got all this focus. You can spend a focus. I don't want to spend the focus. Um, I'll, sp I'll I'll spend that. I'll just spend that to for it to go off. Lovely. So you're targeting your sword. You yeah. can push it and drop a scheme. This is what you mentioned earlier. Yes. So it's going to. And, I put, and this is one I prepared earlier, and Chris is, and Tommy's going to really appreciate the scheme marker when he sees it. Uh, it's going to push its movement five inches. I mean, you're not going to push that way, Courtney, because there's an ice pillar next, oh, yeah. so you're going to have to so go I'm going very. To have to go like yeah, that. yeah. That's fine. Uh, which is why I didn't do it. Didn't try and do it the yeah, yeah. afterwards. I'm going to put a TNG G scheme marker there. Oh, it's not a CNC. No, it's a T and G. Are you feeling all right? It's a T and G. You got a rep sometimes, you know. Uh, I'm in my good Courtney arc. Yeah, I'm going to call him out here because literally his measuring widgets have C and C on them. But yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> I didn't order those. You feigned T player. Oz gave them oh, me for right. free. Oz, right. from, Oz from where? Can you get the website from, right? From rampagegames.com. Call it, no. It's one of them. It's comod.co.uk. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm sorry, Oz. You, you love me. I just forget. You're yeah? the worst. But it's rampagegames.com. <laughs> Dot com, it's com. I'm dot, pretty sure. Dot, dot ru. It's dot com. org. No, it's com. It's definitely com, right? Okay. I'll check. I'll check this com. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be his bonus action. Uh, so, he's done a walk. Uh, he's, he's done a slam. He's, he's got done one a slam. More. So he's got one more. I think just being aggressive is probably the way to go because sitting back is not going to get me anywhere. Be aggressive. Be, be Which is not in my vocabulary. That's usually Tom's vocabulary, but he. We kind of swap roles. Yeah, yeah I was say, you played against my Nekimo enough to know. Like. Yeah. I'm coming in, just like my niece does. To the, and that is... Damien Darkblade. That, that is him done. So as you can see, we've just got the Blessed of December and the Cavern Nephilim next to go. As much as all of my bloodlust says, leap, walk, charge. <laughs> I'm just going to... Do it. Take a walk Do action. It. Take a concentrate, knowing that I have deadly pursuit, so I can end next to that uh, voting token. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to go with my favourite metallic metal singer, Cavern Nephilim. <laughs> Uh, you are actually going to choose violence, yeah, not like me. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we're both repping the Nephilim now, um, so I'm, I've learnt off you. <laughs> oh, uh, if you so, haven't charged turn one, you've failed. Yeah. So, the Cavern Nephilim, he's going to overheal, he's going to heal two, uh, which is going to make him push two inches, so he's going to go to here. Then, he's going to take a walk, run, yeah. Sort of fly. Can't you fly, want to say. actually, because you, your wings are broken. Yeah. They're too tired. They've been They're sleeping too for too long. But they could practically fly. He's going to go to there. Yeah. And then... Do you ignore severe terrain? Or you I do ignore more? severe terrain. Nice. Because of uh, expert getaway. This model may ignore terrain and models while moving. Yeah, so it's flight without flight. Yeah. And then, Tom, I'm coming in. Oh, dear. Ah! Like that. That's what I imagine he screams. The fight begins. Ah! <laughs> like that. Like a... Angry seagull. <laughs> um, so, Kevin Nephilim, stat six against the Blessed Defense. Uh, six, I'll drop a focus just because I don't particularly want you beating the living day like some of my models turn one. Okay. So, oh, it's not amazing. Ooh. Oh, it is. 19. I'm on 13. Uh, unfortunately, that ain't it. Yeah. Um, Leave Brittany alone. And then what I'm going to do is. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do because I was hoping to sort of ambush back, but I am now engaged. Because if I hit you, I would have moved yeah, you. Yeah, you pushed me around. That's what's so good about them. Uh, so, unfortunately, he's just going to have to sit there and look pretty. But that is him done. Lovely. So, this is how things look at the end of the first turn. So, all of our shielded has dropped off and we are getting ready to rumble. Having Castor so close with his big sword to everyone is a little bit scary for me. Good, I hope it is. But I think I've put some pillars down to waste a bit of time for your activations you earlier on. So I don't think and you've put them on perfectly. Thank you very much, my love. So we have reflip drawn cards, all that kind of stuff. The Blessed December off camera has just uh, Deadly Pursuited just out of range of the Cavern Nephilim and within range of the voting token. We've flipped, we've not stoned. 
you have cheated in to go above me and have the first activation for this turn. So Double any, Asian Pat, baby. Any thoughts or plans? Uh, yeah, I think Castle's going to get stuck in. I think everybody else is just going to try to lumber to what towards you without getting too close to that ice golem hopefully. yeah that seems fair i mean the ice golem's got to get shifting around all this stuff that's in its way but yeah. hopefully we'll be able to assist with that so let's go to the first activation of turn two which will be castor's crew right okay i'm gonna go with castor so i'm gonna show my hand let's get to the viewfinder so i can see what yeah there you go you can see look at that i'm learning it's only been what 10 battle reports that i've done <laughs> uh but we're learning um so Gwil's going to be like, Master, I've got some more advice for you. What's the range of her stock tips? It's it's anywhere on the board. It's wow. just Yeah, you just activate. He's got, a, he's got like an earpiece in. Yeah. yeah, he does. That's exactly what it is. He's Am I coming in? He's a yuppie caster. <laughs> Am, I, <laughs> Am I coming in okay, Master? Um, so I'm going to discard this card, my seven. Please give me a better card than last time. Please, please, please. It's that one. So... First thing Castor's gonna do, he smell, he, you know, he smells the blood. Yeah. Oh, look at that redhead over there. <laughs> Don't pick <laughs> I'm sure she's full of tasty. You picked on my totem now, you're picking on my redhead. <laughs> I think she's type C. Let's get in there. Uh, so he's gonna charge. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, he's gonna charge to them. He is not gonna use his focus because the first damage flip he gets is gonna be a double plus anyway yeah uh so he's gonna smack the, the silent, one. silent one so this is stat six against your move against my move yeah move. Do you, are you quick enough to get away I from my grasping move hands of five i mean i'll try my best so uh 12. i'm on 18 with the inbuilt trigger of drink blood don't drink my blood don't want that <laughs> Uh, I mean, you get all the pluses in the world anyway, so yeah. there's like really no point cheating here, is it? So no. 12 to 18 would be a straight flip anyway. And double plus because of yeah. the fact that this is my first damage flip. I think you're capped at like flipping, what, four cards maximum, yeah. three cards maximum? So it's three cards. So I'll just do that now. One, two, three. Oh, it's a severe. Out. So that is five damage. Okay, so shielded will knock it down to four. And I am a soul stone user. You are. So I will spend a soul stone and reduce it by two more. Okay. So I'll take two damage. You will. I will drink blood. Ow. Um, so I get to heal what I did. So I do two damage. Did you declare a trigger? I did declare a trigger. Counter spell. Counter so spell. Discard a card if you want to do that. I will discard this card because I want to do this. Uh, that is going to overheal me, Tom. Yep. Castor has a unique overheal. If he overheals, he can choose either around himself or around the sword and do and ping one damage. So I'm going to do one, I'm going to ping around myself and I'm going to do, ping one damage to both the silent one and the goat man. The goat man will take a damage. You know what? I'm going to keep stoning with the silent one because I've got soul stones and I should be generating a few this turn. Yes. So I'm going to ignore that ping. Cool. Uh, second action, I'm going to hit her normally. I'm going to use my focus this time because okay. I've not got any dirty plus flips. So this is just a devour again, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Against your movement. Uh, six. Eight. Uh, Come to me. Nom, 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 nom. Let's go to 17. So I don't really like the idea of him just beating the living Ooh, daylights out of me. Let's go to 18. I'm not going to declare a trigger this time. Okay, so negative flip. Uh, it's straight because of the focus. Oh, did you spend one of your focus? I did. Okay. Uh, so... Did you remember to flip two cards? I don't think I did, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, straight flip. It's a moderate of, I believe that is free damage. We'll spend a stone. Got two left after this. Take one damage. She's she's holding on. She's got three health left. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to do my dominate. Dominate. I'm going to dominate your ice golem. <laughs> Rude. Uh, so this is stat seven against your willpower. Uh, ice golem well known for its willpower of... Five. Yeah. Uh, Eleven. Uh, I'm on eighteen. That will go no through. No trigger. But I. Mm, is it worth doing this? I should probably use a stone. Uh, but I'm actually going to put in. Oh, it's a big card though. But it is funny. I'm going to put in this card um, for the enthrall. So 
Basically, I get to do take, target takes a general action chosen and controlled by this model. It ignores the staggering condition and is not treated as engaged by nice. return model. So you do get me staggered and stunned. I do. Well. What's his movement? Four. Four. You should have to Oh no, I think I've left the stove on. <laughs> Sorry, Raspberry, I'll be back in a minute. Do, 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 Bye, do, love. Do, 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 do. I think that's fog. I can't see yeah, on that other side. I think you're fine. Yeah. Um, so that is that. Rude. It's a big card, though, to use. But I mean, it's good, though. It takes them out of the game for a turn. It does. It does. Uh, and then I'm just I'm going to just do this to get my sword out of the way, I think. Because um, I don't want him to start the scanning cards because I ain't got a lot of cards left. Um, so I'm just going to do the Broodmaster's Domain. And it is Broodmaster this time. Um, so I just need a four for this to go off. It's exactly a four. Nice. Uh, so we did say the arms aren't actually blocking. So he's just going to bash into it. He's just going to go to there and he's going to drop a scheme marker down it's another tng scheme marker i'll i guess I'll yeah look at these drops aren't they yeah so you're all good I'll just, i guess i'll just drop that there uh and that is free actions and a bonus action that's cast all done beastly okay this is what remains of my hand going into this turn um it's brilliant corny which is why i'm going to activate rasputina first when you declare activate rasputina you're going to remove these well. two scheme markers Ooh. and declare ensnare you rude person. My favourite scheme because it's re it's really easy to get off. <laughs> How dare you incinerate me. Uh, so first thing Raspi is going to do, she is going to try and create some ice pillars. I'm going to arc it through this one just so we can start shenanigans sure. essentially. So I need a five for this to go off. We get an 11. Ooh, we are successful. Very good. That's but I'm going to cheat in the seven of tomes, which will allow me to immediately draw a card. That's card and, one. And uh, I'm going to declare the trigger of Frozen Domain. So I have to discard a card. Discard one. That's to then card. draw a card. This one here. Uh, so that's two that I've used because I've got an ice pillar here and an mm -hmm. ice pillar here. And we're going to put down two markers. I'll just do that now. And as you can see, we've put one down here. We've put one into this big scrum of people. You have. So second action she's going to do, she's going to Winter Strike. I'm going to arc this through this one mm -hmm. to shoot your urn bearer to again take the cover Leave away. Alone. So just to take no chance of cover for you, this yep. is uh, a stat of six versus your defense, mate. Uh, of five, 18. Uh, 16. I will match you, I think. On 18. Well, I can't beat that. All right, so uh, I have cheated and I have got a new pillar that's nearby. Mm -hmm. So, so I'll draw cards? my final card here. And this is going to be a double negative flip, isn't it? It is. Uh, so what, three cards, Lois? Yes. One, two, three. That is going to be a week of two damage on yep. the urn bearer. She gets two. However, because it's a blast, the blast marker will touch an ice pillar, so technically it's three for her. She's on one health left. And it will be a damage for these three that are just hanging out there. Okay, so damage on Gwell. A damage on the blood vessel and a damage on the blood vessel. Now, frustratingly, you, you kind of got all the healing in the world, but... Um, God damn it. <laughs> uh, right. So, tactical error here from okay. Courtney Murray. Get, what do Nephilim have, Tom? Regen. No, they also have black blood, don't they? They do. So... It's going to help one of my models and be very detrimental to the other one. Oh, do they not ignore Black Blood? No. They Gwil don't... doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Gwil, Gwil is going to... Gwil, I've got some really bad news for you. So, as you are the Black Blood King, would he be affected by both models taking Black Blood? I don't think so. I think so it's only just the one. I'm going to say once. Cause... So, he takes a damage. The Urn Bearer goes, whoa, I'll touch that. So, she gets a shielded. Uh, don't waste it. <laughs> we need that. Uh, so she's going to gain a shielded, which might not help her because she's only got one health left. Uh, but oops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it bodes well here, mate. So Raspi has got one more AP left, and I am going to again winter strike the urn bearer, again arcing through uh, this pillar here, mate. Okay. So start six versus your defense. I'm on six. I'm on eight. I'll go to 18, because I, I would like her not to die. 
Uh, I will go to 19. Well, you will die. Can't do anything about that. Uh, I am not going to... Ooh, no, I'm not going to declare any triggers because there are none for this one. So, negative flip. So, anything yep. other than the Black Joker will kill. Uh, it's going to be kill. two up to three. Every cast player player just winced because <laughs> no one wants to see their own berry die. But unfortunately, they always do. And your other three models are going to take a damage each because of it yeah. being the blast. So she's going to go down to there. Ouch. And unfortunately, Black Blood's going to happen. Yeah, big swings. Well, no, she's dead. So Black Blood's gone. Oh, no, the other no, ones will Black Blood. Yeah, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, so Gwil will take two more damage and go down to three health. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen, Courtney? <laughs> uh, That's why you don't pop Gwil near any, any Nephilim. And then we've got December's Passage left, so I'm just going to pre-plan this. So I'm then just going to try <laughs> December's Passage, and I'm going to target this. I'm just trying to get the silent one out of trouble. So I'll need a six, because it will go from TN11 up to TN13. I'm stat seven. Get an 11. Absolutely loves it. We're going to move. We're going to place. And that will be the end of Raspi's activation. So I've just repositioned my Silent One and my Kalkgeist just around the corner. Kalkgeist within an inch of that voting marker is the intention. And Silent One able to see these two pillars through line mm -hmm. of sight. Over to you. Right, okay. So big setback was in the end, bearer, But unfortunately, like I said, they always go down eventually. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go with this blood vessel. You can do some healing, can't you? You're not regen. Um, the blood vessel is not regen. Shame that. Because uh, it's, it's <laughs> I genuinely didn't know. It sounded like I was being he's, <laughs> he, is, he is actually undead. Right. Um, so he's going to take the slow. Um, nice. Uh, I think I've actually got the slow talking somewhere. It's all right. You're going to activate anyway now, aren't you? So yeah. it won't matter. Exactly. That's a good point. He's going to smash this. You sure? Yes. You sure you don't want to keep it? That is the end of his activation. <laughs> So this is a really good thing about like when you're learning a new crew taking similar models because you kind of pick up the gist of them quite quickly. Mm. So again, I'm going to go with this silent one. She's not feeling particularly great. She's on three health, but at the same time, she's got a mate nearby who can heal her. She's got, you know, shielded next turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arc an interact action through this pillar, mm -hmm. and I'm going to deliver Castor a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important with this, because I did a lot of reading on this. So when they use Ice Mirror, anything that requires line of sight and range is fine. So this says you have to be within line of sight and an inch of Castor. So I basically count as I'm looking through here. But if it was to put a scheme marker down, I can't, because that requires base contact, and it would actually be put down here. It's actually very interesting, this, because the, when we went to the event at Jan's event, I played, you played a Raspi player, player. This and, is... some, and he did something very similar, and I was yeah. like, can you do that? Yeah, in the same way that I could arc to interact to vote on these as well, but I wouldn't be able to pop down scheme yeah. markers. There is that kind of synergy. So yeah, I'm just going to deliver a message on Castor and be like, that's why I had to spend all those soul stones, you big <laughs> meanie. It's just a letter, and it's just got a Nekima yeah. giving me the middle finger. Yeah, that's scroll. literally it. And then the second action she's going to take is she is going to create ice pillars again, so you want to keep them over here. Okay. I'm going to arc it through this one because there's nothing to lose because i don't need to declare triggers yep. i need a five for it to go off we get a one i will cheat in this five that i've been keeping hold of and again courtney wah, wah. Wah, wah, indeed in fact do you know what because you moved it from there and you were being mean i'm gonna put it there and then you'll forget about it. You won't notice. How will I, how I forget about now it? It's incognito. It's, it's actually in my line It's like, it's like Chris's operatives. You'll never <laughs> notice it. Uh, and that's her done. Okay, so we're going to go with Kevin Nephilim. Uh He's going to do his next metal metallic his hit, ne single, his next hit single. Smack the death. The um, blessed Smack December. The blessed. Uh, so he's going to overheal because he's regen two. Yep. Which is going to make him go. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> you can't get away from me. Um, and then he's going to focus. Yeah. And then he's going to throw a, a swing. big swing on me. Because even though you got hard to win, I, I have one card in hand. And... Yeah. So Ferocious Claws. Yeah. Uh, six defense versus stat six attack. It is. Uh, ten. Uh, good thing I did that. It's 13. Uh, we so... break the eyes. Yeah, go for it, mate. So it's double neg to a... Straight. Uh, no, one neg, sorry, because of the focus. Yeah. So It's a week of two. I'll take the two damage. And... You get pushed two inches, so I'll just push you away from the... The marker. Yep. Just... 
Do I still be engaging me? Uh, yes. Sense. Yeah. Um, and wait the eyes. I'm going to choose a suit, and then you reveal the top three cards. And if they are of that suit, they get removed. And if not, they just go back in. Any order? Your choice. Is it uh, any order? Let me just double check. I believe it is. It is. Place the rest back on top. In any order, yes. Okay. So, so what suit are you going for? My, uh, Tom's. Nope. Oh. The, no, no. <laughs> what order I never would get you this like, right. Courtney? I never get this right. Uh, we'll put the Red Joker... Ooh. I mean, you decide. You have to show me. I'm pretty certain you do, so we'll just yeah. do it off camera. Yeah, we'll do it off camera. Anything else you want to do for your activation? No, no, no. I could have voted, but I wanted the focus. So, um, that's it. Right, we're going to see where he's put that Red Joker then. So, my blessed is going to go. It's going to attempt a leap. We get... The red joker. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you for that. Well, you know, it was either that odd. It was even attacking and you would do red joker damage. So yeah. it was kind of... We're going to move to this position. And then we've already pre-planned this. I am just going to walk to just within an inch because I'm aware Barbaros is on that side of the board. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to exercise my democratic right with the first of our little coloured dice to place a vote. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Gwil. Um, Gwil already has slow, so that's his card. And acidic blood all over him. <laughs> and it's like, ha, ha, <laughs> what the hell? This wasn't the party you promised. I'm just here for stock advice. <laughs> Master, I don't <laughs> want this. Um, so yeah, um, Gwil is going to take a walk with his one AP because he's slow. Did you just gender Gwil, you horrible person? I actually don't know what gender No, I don't know either. I'm just joking, joking. I don't know if he's a... It, I, I, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're just for him, but not for, but for, not for this instance. <laughs> not for this instance. What? Not that gender doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Just for this instance, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's move along from that one, Tom. Cancelled. Cancelled. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed Courtney's last bat, right? <laughs> Never coming on ever again. Uh, so I'm just going to move to the... Move to there, because I might as well. Just trying. Are you moving twice when you're slow? Uh, no, it's just one move. It was oh, five. Yeah, convenient, that. Shut up. No genders, no move stats. Shut up. Anything else? Um, yes, I'm going to do my second, my bonus action. Now, he actually has another bonus action. He has a Sanguine Evocation, so I can look at the top three cards in my deck, and I can uh, remove them, but I take damage. Nice. Uh, but they have to come back in the same order, I believe. Uh, oh, in any order. It's any order. It's awesome. This is so you can show it to camera and I won't look. Or do you yeah. reveal them anyway, don't you, I suppose? I mean... What are they? Tell me, Courtney. Tell me. Uh, look at the top three cards. I don't think I revealed oh, them. Oh, so. I mean, I mean, f fans, what do I do there? I mean, I've only got three health. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, after some thinking... I'm going to put them down this in this direction. So I think it's actually exactly where they were uh, originally. Um, and that it will be Gwil done. Uh, and Gwil loses their slow for now. So yeah, we're going to continue to play it relatively safe. We're going to go with this Cal Geist that's in the middle here. It's going to exercise, exercise its democratic right to vote. Yeah. For one. And I know I've got some pretty junk cards that are going to come up, Courtney. So I'm just going to try Jagged Ice. So target an ice pillar within eight, this one here. Uh, and this is needing a six, and if it goes off, enemy models within a one inch pull to the target must pass the TN13 movement jewel or suffer a damage against dagger. Okay. So need a six, which shockingly I don't think was one of the two cards that you had. That is a five. It is currently not going off. I am absolutely fine for it to not go off. We're then going to attempt our bonus action, which is Icy Winds, which also needs a six. Kel Surprise does not go off, but that is the Kalkgeist. All done. Cool, we're going to go with Barbaros. Uh, Barbaros is going to gain slow. I haven't got any cards, so he has to. Uh, but he does overheal, so he is going to move two inches. So he's going to go... Just near the doorstep. Yeah, near the doorstep. He's going to go in the inn. And then you're going to move him anyway, aren't you? Yeah, and then I'm just going to move him so he's in base contact. He's currently winning the race to eat the people inside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is him done. Nice. So much the same, I'm going to go with Cal Geist number two. The reason it is back here is because it's playing guard duty. So even though I can't score the ones that are in my half, I'm just going to take a vote here just to make you take another action if you need to get over to it. Mm -hmm. It's going to make a four inch move to there and it's going to attempt to icy winds. So again, we need a six for this to go off. We get an eight, loves it. And I am just going to push this silent one 
further forward off okay. camera. Awesome. So I'm going to go with the Blood Vessel. He's going to gain slow. I've got no cards. But Tom, he's going to attempt. I say attempt, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, he's going to attempt to do Sacred Duty, which is he can, he can, does not require line of sight. Type a friendly return non minion, which Barbaros isn't. He is not min non minion, so he can choose that. Um, so I need. A seven for this to go off. While well, you flip that, so I'm just going to say this silent one moved up next to her sister. Okay, cool. Her not as good, not redhead self helped her redhead sister. <laughs> it's a seven. Well, it's more than a seven, than but seven. it's definitely there. So you go whoop, 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 whoop. Waka, waka, waka. And then teleport. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Not within an inch of an ice pillar. <laughs> not within an inch of an ice pillar. <laughs> uh, he should be in base contact, but I'll do it. We'll just yeah, do yeah, that. Fine, fine. Um, and then what he's going to do is he's going to do his bonus action. Uh, he's going to take two reusable damage and he's going to interact. Nice. So I'm going to put a vote in for Castor. <laughs> vote Castor, President 2024. Uh, and that will be him done. I'm going to just, yeah, that'll be him done. <laughs> right, my big boy Golem's going to go. He's staggered and stunned. He's just going to walk twice to there and be like, I will hit something this game, Courtney. It will happen. <laughs> and that's him done. Right, I'm, so he's just a slow sword to go. He's going to gain slow. Uh, but he's going to charge, which still is not so, so bad on the sword because it can only hit once anyway. It yeah, just means so you can't focus. going to go through this. We don't count as terrain. Yeah. You can go through Raspi. You can't go through a pillar. Yeah. So you can just about, we've worked it out, kind of squeeze. Oh, I still managed to How not, dare you? I'm really sorry. Knock my poor girl. Over. I hope you vanished that. Yeah. <laughs> so through some jiggery poker, you basically get to there. Yeah. So I'm going to hit the, the cowled guys. Yep. Uh, so, it is stat 6 against your defence. Oh, stat 6 is good. Uh, defence of 5. Uh, 18. Also 18. Right, I'm not going to cheat anything. <laughs> yeah, it's only 2, it's only 2, two 3. So, Double 1, egg. 2, 3. Uh, Black Joker. No, <laughs> well, I'm on one anyway. It was, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't have done a lot. It was it was more sending the message. <laughs> um, and that is the sword done. It's putting the pulse aura there. Right, I've got my Wendigo and my Silent One left to go. The Wendigo is going to just nick Raspi's Ice Pillars at stat four. So I need, what, like a seven for this to go off? Mm -hmm. We get a four. I will leave that. I can only do once per turn. And then go try and disengage from Castor. Okay. So uh, defense of four. Oh, you attack my move, don't you, actually? Yes. Uh, move of six. Uh, start six. Uh, 14. 13. Nothing to cheat. Uh, I've got no cards. I will walk away from you. Move of six. Uh, I'll just measure it in a sec. Yeah. Screw you, Castor. You are not taking the goat, man. <laughs> so I'm just going to run literally down here because... Flea, god, man. Interacts are a thing. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go with the silent one. Uh, first thing she's going to do, she's going to attempt to heal her sister. I need a six for this to go off with healing energy. We get a nine, that does go off, and I am going to heal uh, two health. No, Do you know nice. what, I'm going to cheat, no I'm not, I'm going to heal two. I'll take the two health healing. <laughs> so she's back up to five HP. She is. And then second action, I'm going to arc and interact through the Calc Geist just to move this. I'll do it off camera because the dice is going to get knocked. To interact, to put my markers up to two. I'm going to vote by proxy. Postal yep. vote. Postal vote. And that will bring us to the end of the turn. But you've also got an ability with Castor, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I can. So if a friendly model within eight of Castor can take two reusable to vote. Um, so Gwyn, kill Gwyn, or kill the blood vessel, kill someone. Um, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do two damage to Barbaros. Yeah. Um, and blackboard doesn't matter for the thingy. Yeah. And I'm gonna vault. So we'll uh, both increase those dice by two. Yes. But it'll be a stalemate. It will. And we'll go to the end of the turn. And this is the picture at the end of the second turn. Despite an absolute flurry of votes to be the ones who eat the victims in the tavern first, the Arcanists have just been able to nick it thanks to the. Blessed December in the corner there. So I've managed to score the strat, whereas you have not yet, but that mm. middle one is going to be highly sought after, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, I think it's one more vote and then they all go, don't yeah, it? That's pretty much it. Is it the most six they can have on it or something? I think mean, you get to five and then after you go to that six, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, aside from that, the Blessed has deadly pursuited. My uh, Silent One has gained her shielded back. We've discarded cards, we've redrawn. Neither of us are stoned yet, so still three and two stones between us mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, we flip for initiative, I flip like a one, you flip like a 12. Yes. So, plans, thoughts here? 
Um, the advancement phase is completed for you. Yeah, I think uh, I, I'm sort of in now. So it's it's basically just trying to get Castor and Barbaros into sort of combat while trying to vote. It's a bit of a difficult one, um, but hopefully we can score a point this turn. Um, my other, I've got still got my other strat to reveal. Yeah, you've done your ensnare. Um, I, I'm starting to worry that I may have chosen the wrong one, but it is what it is. So by um, reckoning it's 2-2. Two, two. Yes. Because uh, I've got a scheme. No, 2-1. Yeah, because I've got a scheme and a strategy. Yeah, I've got, got a one. Scheme. There we go. So we'll see We'll see what Courtney's secret unknown scheme will be in a minute. Uh, we'll go to the first activation of turn three, which will be the Neverborn. Okay, so I'm going to go with Castor. So I do get to discard a card and draw a card, but I also have to make a choice, which I'm going to discard a card. Don't forget to show your hand camera color. as well. Oh, yes. Never forgot that. We knew we lost our streak, but not today, kids. <laughs> so there you go. So we're going to discard the one for the pillar. Uh, I am going to discard this six and hopefully draw a card, better card. We drew a 13 last time from doing this. Nice. So, That's um, definitely good. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Take that. We take those. Um, so this is going to be a very boring act massive activation, which is never nice to see, but sometimes is necessary. I had those with Pandora last game with Chris, where it's like, I just need to move around and sit on points. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to take a walk. In fact, I'm going to charge because even if you put the pillar down, you're not going to stop me. So if I charge to here, where are you going, goat man? <laughs> Uh, that's on one, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think you can stop me because I think if you put a pillar there, no, I'll I think stop you. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm worried <laughs> now, but. We'll, we'll get the measuring tools out in a minute, Colin. Um, so, yeah, uh, I am going to. So, it is going to be stat six against your move. Of six. Uh, 19. Oh. Get wrecked. 19. That is, that is sad. <laughs> That's actually really sad. Shame that, mate. Are you um, hit me again by any chance? Um, no, I'm not. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I could do. I've only got one inch melee, so it's up to you. You choose. Yeah, I will do, actually, yeah. I'll go in zero inch melee, even. You're going to hit me again? I am, um, yes. Okay. So. Movement of six? Yep. Twelve. Uh, Twelve. Oh, I'm going to go to 13 just to be a pain. 13, that's good, that's good. Uh, I'll go to... Burn those cards, Courtney. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to go to... <laughs> 14. 14, okay. With the inbuilt uh, drink blood trigger. Okay. Uh, so this so... has actually gone through, so you're getting a double positive. So yes. it'd be a negative up to a straight, up to a single positive. Yes, single pause. Severe five damage. I mean, that will absolutely kill me. Die, gold man. Uh, I am living, so we do drop corpses. Yep. But I think I've got um, Demise Frozen Heart, so I can also create a ice pillar yes. in base contact. And this is where the interesting stuff's going to happen, Courtney, because I'm going to put it there. I think I still I think can you get can through, still there's walk a gap through. on that side. I think you're okay. Yeah! Uh, I don't suffer from my consequences. Um, <laughs> When I overheal, because I just overhealed, I get to ping around me. I'm going to ping around the sword. So Raspy, uh, the Ice Golem, and the Cowgeist are all going to take one damage. Yeah, they will take that because the armor doesn't help them here. Uh, Raspy will take, she'll take the one. And then the third action is just going to trot to here. <laughs> Be like, I've got goat blood on my hands. It is delicious. I will eat this now. Uh, and then I'm going to do my bonus action, which is... Broodmaster's Domain, uh, and your fourth fist to go off. Uh, Broodmaster's Domain. Yeah. Goes off. Broodmaster. Um, it goes off. All the sword's going to do is he's just going to, eh, a little bit, and he's going to put the... Well, he's just, uh, he has to actually move, sorry, so he's just going to bang into... Yeah. You don't have engagement range anyway, so it's... Yeah. And then drop a, a scheme marker. And that is... You do have an engagement range on your sword. It's one inch melee. No. If you look at... So if, so if you look at living uh, slip by, this model can move through other models and vice versa. It's never considered engaged uh, and there's no engagement range. Okay, I suppose it has to have a melee range just for when you actually do attacks, yes. doesn't it? 
Lovely. So you've put a scheme marker there? Yes. All and that is, the, that is cast all done. So this is how my hand looks for this turn after that cheat. I'm going to go with Rasputina. And the first thing we are going to do is we're going to use December's Passage because my poor golem can actually get out of like this absolute log jam that it's in. So um, golem is size four. So this takes the TN up to 15. So I need like an eight for this to go off for Raspi. Mm -hmm. uh, targeting the Calc guy so I can see through a slither past the sword. We get a nine. We have been successful with that. So push the ice pillar, the Kalkgeist, up to four inches. Yep. Push it to there. And then place the transported model within two. And he's going to go from here to, the... to here, Courtney. Okay. I hear you've been talking smack about my ability to move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to punch this building down. So that's her first action. Her second action, I don't know how much we actually need ice pillars, but I'm going to chuck... Am I going to chuck some more out, or do I just start chucking attacks out? Um, we'll do a freeze-over attack, Courtney. Okay. Uh, arcing through this ice pillar. I'm going to drop a shockwave in the middle of this scrum. Okay. So this is going to be stat 6, needing an 11. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what we get. We get a two, we fail, so I'm going to cheat a ten of rams, mm -hmm. which means I draw a card for the you first do. ice pillar near me. Draw this. And I'm going to declare the trigger, so I'm going to discard a card. Mm -hmm. um, hypothermia, and I'm going to draw a card. So that's my two that I've done so far. Okay. So this would be a shockwave one inch, which it still will be. Move 14. Slow and staggered, but hypothermia means when resolving the shockwave and gains the following effect, damage two. Right, okay. December models instead heal one. Shit. So my ice girl and my calc guys are going to heal one. Mm -hmm. But your Barbaros and your, your boy, mm -hmm. TN14 movement jewel or two damage slow and staggered. Cool. Barbaros. Um. It is on a 12, so... Yeah, because it's a speedy... Across. It's not too bad for your crew, actually, this one. So I'll pass there. Yep. That's 14. And then for the other one, it is a... Uh, Should be quick enough, surely. Yes. 14, just in the dark. Just about. Okay, so that's Raspi's first action. Uh, her second action, Courtney, she is going to do it again. Right. So again, I'm going to arc through. Get a three, so we fail. I'm going to cheat in the nine here, which will allow me to draw my final third card. This okay. one. And I'm going to declare the trigger, which means I'm going to have to discard a card. Yeah. Cruelty. Once per turn, take this action again. Okay. So this is not damaging you this time. This is movement 14 or slow and staggered. Okay, Barbaros passes. Um, the blood vessel fails and I'll just have him take it. So he's going to gain slow, slow and staggered. Slow and staggered. Okay, I'll grab those for you. So this is the trigger for me to do it a second time because of cruelty. Mm -hmm. So uh, stat 6 and 11 goes off. Can't declare triggers off triggers. So exactly the same, mate. Barbaros passes um, and the blood vessel fails, but he's, oh, got he's slow and staggered anyway. But you're near a Kalkgeist. So, so it takes a damage. If you would gain slow within four of a calc guys, you take a damage after resolving the current action. He's on one health left. He is on the round left. Kill. For Raspi's last action, she's just going to winter strike uh, Gwil because I can literally see you straight mm -hmm. there. So this is going to be stat six versus your defense. No arcing here. Uh, defensive six, 14. Uh, also 14. Uh, let's go to 16. Uh, I will go to 19. Okay. So, negative flip. Yep. Uh, I'm going to declare mass hysteria, so if you get damaged, I can push you three inches. Yep. Uh, negative flip is going to be one da uh, two damage with a blast. I'm going to stone uh, one of it, so one damage. It takes damage with a blast. And then I can push you three inches. Now, are you within four inches of this pillar? Oh, he's actually had to win one flip one more card. Oh, I will flip one more card, yeah, just in case of the red. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to yeet you three inches back. Perfect. Keep your advice to yourself, scumbag. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so bonus, I've done many, many shock waves, and that is raspy all finished. You don't want any advice, Tom? I will. I'll, I will give you any advice. I'll just start blasting. <laughs> um, so Gwil's going to go. Uh, Gwil's going to do sanguine invocation, so I get to look at the top three cards, and I can discard any ones I want with it at the cost of health. So it's like this. Ooh. Um, ooh. <laughs> I think we just get rid of that. Do we? We can put it out in any order, so we're just going to do it like that, and then put that on top. So Gwil is going to start blasting onto the ice golem. So it is stat six against your defense. I'm going to use a stone to put a crow on this. Defense of four. Okay. I'm on 19. 13. Straight flip. Straight flip. It's going to be a week of two and a blast, but it's going to have the infested with leeches trigger, which means, so basically you take two damage. Did you stone for the ram? Did you not want the other one? No, no. it's infested with leeches. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> I'll take one damage to the marmot too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get injured. Ow. <laughs> and for the rest of this turn, you cannot heal. Ah, so no eating ice pillars. Yes. How the, dare The you. greatest counter to Castor is in Castor's keyword himself. <laughs> <laughs> and now I am going to decay you again. So it's stat six against your injured defense. Yes, yeah, three. Uh, I'm on that. Nine. Uh, I am going to go to... Uh... Leave me alone. No. 17. Oh, yeah, okay. So straight for it. And I'm going to use the uh, life and death trigger so it will heal my models if they get blasted okay. on. So, well, your living models, they're both living, I presume. Uh, so it will only hit. Oh, it's only living models. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, one of your dudes isn't living. It will help, it? It help Barbara also because he has taken two health nice. damage. So I think we're on a. Straight flip, I believe. Uh, it's a moderate. It's till two damage. He gains another one. injured. Seven health left. Uh, and Barbara, it's going to blast onto Barbara and. I think there's not any, going to be anybody else that gets blasted. Because I don't think I can get that Kelgeist, unfortunately. Ooh. No, I think you're all right. Oh, no, I don't know, actually. Yeah, he's going to get that Kelgeist. How much damage is the Kelgeist going to get? One? Uh, one, and he's going to get injured. All right, armor one. I will take I'll take the one down to four, and I'll gain an injured. And Bravos will heal two, because he is actually leaving. Is he back up to full health now? He though? is. But the blood vessel is undead, so he won't gain nothing. Um... Uh, oh, actually, I think that will injure him. <laughs> so, he, <laughs> so he is going to die. Uh, but that's absolutely fine because he will black blood. Um, okay. So he's going to die. He's black blood. So he's going to do one damage. Uh, I won't take black blood because you're not on the board to black blood me. Good thing. This is why we play against. This is why the this man. is why we know each other's crews. The upside is though, I have got a soulstone cash, mate, and you are an enemy model. Yeah. So I do regenerate because the uh, the golem's like, ho ho ho, you've you've died. Uh, so I gain a soulstone back. Yeah. Um, should I just move the blast? Just make it easy. Yeah. It's up yeah to you. Let's just move the blast. I'll just do it so it's going to blast onto Barbara. So you're not so blasting he on the count, guys. No. So he stays at full health. And no injured. No injured. Um, but Barbaros does still heal. So net heal will is Barbaros basically. Yeah. I think that's easier. I think that's easier and doesn't and isn't the, the silly move. That makes um, sense. So that is basically that is that's Gwil. Well done, Gwil. Watch me completely flub these attacks now after I've been bigging it up for ages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the ice golem, Courtney. Fantastic. You're going to get wrecked. So I? I'm going to have to attack Barbaros because he's a cage fighter. Um, I've got Frozen Club as an ability, so while I'm within one inches of an ice pillar, my melee attacks gain a ram to they their do. totals. So I am going to spend my focus, and I'm going to punch Barbaros in his traitorous little head. Stat, you betrayed me first. Stat six versus your defense. Yeah, uh, so it's defense of six. 19. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> um, you don't have slow, though, do you? No. So I could do plus one damage here, or I could take the chill trigger. I'm actually going to take the chill trigger on this corner. So this is going to be a negative flip either way, though. Yep. Um, and it will be a week of three damage, but you've got armor one. Yeah, so two damage. Two. I'm going to uh, do a stone. No, I won't. So I'll take two damage. Um, you know this very well, Black Blood. Black Blood. I will take a damage, and so will the Cow Ghost. Yep. Your undead dude? Does he uh, no, he also has black blood. That's okay. 
So Kalgeist takes one. He's finally got that one damage we were trying to give him last time. <laughs> uh, Golem will take one. This is the good thing about you turn off my healing, because otherwise I just eat a load yes. of things. Now, I am going to pitch a card to Flurry. I've got many of four, so I'm just going to get rid of okay. that four. And I am going to hit him again, Courtney. No focus this time for me. Actually, yeah, the focus I used, it should have just been a straight... It doesn't matter now. It doesn't it's matter. It's all right. I, I, I forgot about the, the focus fine. last time. It's fine. Uh, 13. Uh, I am on at 11. Let's go to 17 with Cage Fighter. Uh, I'm fine with that, mate. All right, so the, uh, so that means I get to smack you back. Uh, what is the difference between... So it's 13... It's four. Four, so Negative, it's a neg. basically. So neg. He goes, no, you! <laughs> uh, a week of two. I'm a Soulstone user. <laughs> I'm going to use a Soulstone. The Ice Soul Gorm's a Soulstone user? Soulstone Cash. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> so I'm going to reduce it by one. So I'm just going to take a ping damage. Now, I can't bonus action to heal up. So I'm actually on five health here, which is not where I want to be in my life. I'm happy with Barbaros that. is going to be the living daylights out of me. Uh, I am going to Blizzard, though. So yes. I need a four for this to go off. One, I'll cheat in this many of the other Worth fours it. that I've got. Uh, I am going to choose to remove this ice pillar that is behind me. Basically, nine. this puts out a four-inch hazardous two aura. Yes. Enjoy that. Right, okay. So we're going to go with the um, Karen Nephilim. I think this is going to be a very easy activation. Yeah, we've just talked this through. It's better guarding that than it is switching it on and then walking away because yeah. the bless can just come back and turn it off. Exactly. So I'm just going to vault uh, there. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, vault there. And then I'm going to basically interact. No, sorry. Focus. I'll concentrate. That's the official term, isn't it, Tom? This yes, indeed. Uh, I'm going to just focus. And then, yeah, that's it for him, unfortunately. That seems fair. Still a lot of fighting to be done in the middle of this board. So <laughs> this Kalkgeist is going to go up now that it knows that that marker is kind of safe. I'm going to walk to here. And I'm going to Icy Wind. So I need a six for this to go off. Get an 11, loves it. Uh, I'm just going to push the two girls three inches in any direction. So this one's just going to come to there. Oh, a bit too far. This one's going to advance to where your dead dude's markers are. And then I'm just going to Jagged Ice. I'm going to target my other friendly cow guys to this because I'm technically an ice pillar. Let's move her so she's not technically mm -hmm. intervening. Um, and yeah, I'm going to try and get this off. I need a six. Get a nine, love it. I'll declare the chill trigger. So enemy models within an inch of the target must pass TM13 movement jewel or suffer a damage and gain staggered. Also has slow built into this. So. Okay, so uh, Barbaros, how much is it? TM13 movement jewel. Uh, but Joker. So he will gain staggered and slow. Uh, he already has slow, so he'll take a damage. He'll take a damage. Which is going to do blackboard. Uh, it won't because it's front of card, but the damage from the attack will. Yes. So he will bleed onto my Kalkgeist and onto my Ice Golem. Yep. The undead dude is already staggered, so he's on minus two to this. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> awesome. So he won't black blood, but he will generate me a soul stone because my Ice Golem has got... Uh, we'll get that in there in a minute. <laughs> soul stone cash. So he will disappear in a second. We'll get rid of his tokens. Okay. Uh, so Barbaros is going to have to go. Um, I think even if I used my um, two-inch push to get away from the ice pillar, it'd still trigger. Yeah. It, uh, I mean, imagine you all sort of check at the same time. So you're going to pitch a card. So I'll pitch my 11, which is not nice, but it is what it is. Uh, I am going to attack the Kalgeist. Start the Kalgeist six. or the Golem? No, the Kalgeist. Oh. That's six against your defence. Uh, defence of five. I'll spend my focus because I don't want you to do this, Courtney. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a big fat fail. 13. Yep. Uh, I, I take a damage. Uh, no black blood from this because it is from a... Is this reckless he's got? No, it's from the... How's this? Yeah, two, two damage from it. Well, I've got armour. Ah, uh, it reduces all damage, doesn't it? Yes. Fair play to you, sir. Uh, I'll attack you again. Uh, can he... Is he fast? Has he got an ability to... Oh, he's slow. slow in uh, I'll do my bonus action then. Uh, I need a five for this to go off. It fails. Um, that is... Barbaros, John, I do take another damage, though. 
We're going to go with the red headed silent one. Uh, I've got a very, very thin line of sight here, but actually I'm going to arc my attack through my Kalkgeist mm -hmm. just to ignore. You're still in the shadow there, aren't you, technically? Yeah. Definitely. So there's no ice pillar within eight that I can easily... Actually, I can. I can see this one because yeah. this is like height five, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, I'll arc through that one. So I'm going to ice blast you. Stat five versus Barbaros's defense. On six. Uh, 14. He doesn't fall oh, on camera. 14. <laughs> uh, 13 doesn't go off. I'll try it a second time. Lucky for you, I can't smack you through the void. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 13. 15. Uh, I could take swift action, but I'd have to discard a card, so I'm not going to. So it's a negative flip. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, it makes no odds. It's two damage with a blast down to one because of your armor. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to blast Black anywhere. Um, I could, oh, I could have mutilated you. That's built in, but I'd have to discard a card for the trigger, which I'm not going to. So black blood, it's it's whittling me, Courtney. It's definitely whittling me. Count well, Geist is down to well. two. Ice Golem is down to three. Mm -hmm. It's not feeling particularly great about the world, and that is redhead sign on one. All done. Yeah, I'm going to go with the sword, uh, Marifine. Marifine gains slow. I'm yep. not going to card. I'm just going to charge. Oh no, I'm, I'm gay. Oh no, you can't engage me. So yeah, I'm just going to charge. I should know. This. It's Raspy 2 that has the, yes. the, the melee. Uh, so, stat 6 against the Kalgeist defense. Of 5. Uh, yeah, it's not going yeah. well for me anymore. <laughs> uh, that is him done. I'm going to activate this Kalgeist that's definitely found itself in the middle of all of the scrumminess that's going on here. So, it is going to attempt to icy winds on the golem. I need a 6 for this to go off. Uh, get an 11. <laughs> Love it. The golem is not staggered, so it's going to move three inches just to put its aura mm -hmm. over there. Um, I'm then going to concentrate and hit Barbaros once because I don't want to trigger the, the black blood twice. That would kill me. Maybe that would be wise. Um, you've got a defensive trigger, though. You can slap I do. Ooh. Ooh. How much health has Barbaros got? Three. Yeah, well, it's him. I mean, I've only been drawing rubbish, so... Stat five versus your defense. I... You're going to stone for it. You know what? I'm going to stone for it. Right. This is this is a TNG moment. Stat five versus your defense. Okay. I'm going to stone for the crow. Six. Uh, I'm on 13. I will match you on 13. Okay. So it's double neg. Double neg. I don't have any shielded. Um, so one, two, three is going to be a week of one damage to him. Uh, black blood. Two health left on you. Yep. I've got one health left on me. You gonna hit me back? Uh, no, because you have to win the duel. Oh, do you? Yes. Live right. Uh, <laughs> this is one thing that I'm now learning with the Kalkgeist. Um, they've got Euripides keyword as well, haven't they? They do have. So the I'm gonna end my activation within two of an ice pillar. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna heal one. And oh my god, do they Gain need shielded. it? Gain shielded. Gain the shielded. It's like, oh, it's not Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna the blood vessel. Right, that's the end of the <laughs> Don't want that hazardous too. No. Do not want. Uh, I'm going to go with this silent one. She is going to arc a vote through literally either of these ice pillars mm -hmm. to tip this to five votes on it. So it means that if you were with an eight, you'd just wipe it essentially. I would. Uh, and then I'm going to just chuck an attack on Barbaros again. I'm going to arc a shot through this one. This is with an eight, and I can yep. just about see it. So uh, this is an ice blast, stat five versus your defense. 18. 17. Survives, survives. Uh, and I believe that just leaves the blessed, so we will reorientate the camera and just finish that off. Yep. I'm going go with the blessed of December. I need to top deck a leap here, so we want a six. We get a four, he does not succeed with that. So we're just gonna take the interact action to flip that to two, and we're gonna move five inches just to that position here. He's done his, his diplomatic duty. That's him, all done. Well done. And this is the picture at the end of turn three, and that swung a little bit. All, the, all the slow ice pillars and staggers kind of added up, but Castor did some good work at the end he of the did. turn. He's taken two damage and he's, he's, he's vaulted for himself. <laughs> he's vaulted for himself. So I don't know if that's legal. I'm not sure if that's allowed. Um, so we both gained the strat because I managed to sway this one in my favour, no, but one yes. more vote will reset it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got two, so that's okay. You're going to get the strat next turn unless I start messing with you because yes. you've already got two secured. 
Uh, my blaster's deadly pursuited around the back for reasons, just to hang out. Barbaros and that Kalkgeist in the middle are both on death's door. Uh, we've drawn I stone, so I'm down to my last soul stone. You are. Uh, you've spent all yours, haven't you? I have. And we flip for initiative. Uh, you made me cheat, so we've cheated in a nine, and I am going to take the lead as we go into turn four. Any thoughts from here, mate? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dwindling. I'm very <laughs> dwindling. I mean, cast all's fine, but it's it's the middle, isn't it, we said? Yeah, I think if I, if I come out with this with three or four points, I think I'm pretty happy. I think happy. you can definitely do that. Um, I mean, you still, we've both got an unreleased scheme or unannounced yeah, scheme. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think cast all's probably going to get back in, go and go back into the middle. Um, but we'll just have to see. Let's see how we do. Let's go into the next turn. Okay then, so going into this turn, this is what my hand looks like after cheating. We're gonna go with the Ice Golem, because it kinda needs to heal. <laughs> it's, it's taken a few slaps, really. So I am going to take the Interact action to put a Scheme Marker within two inches of Barbaros, Courtney. Is this deathbed related? It might be deathbed related, and then I'm gonna charge him. Okay. Go to here, I'm kind of balancing on this little rut of the wall here. So this is going to be stat six versus your defense. I am not within an inch of an ice pillar, so I do not gain rams to this. Okay, six defense. See how we do. 18. 16. With a ram, anything to cheat. I don't. Right, so negative flip on this. Uh, it is. Frozen smash is plus one damage. Yeah, I think he might be dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Just... Well, if he's going to come out, he'll come out now. Yeah. Paste. He dead. No black blood. I will declare deathbeds. My chosen token to no surprise, Courtney, was ice pillars. Yep. So I'm going to remove that scheme marker to secure it. Mm -hmm. My second action is going to be to reform from ice. So I'm going to remove these pillars that are within four inches of me. Mm -hmm. And I will heal two for each one removed. Yep. So, I'm up to seven. Uh, it's worth saying I do gain a soul stone because of my soul stone cash. You do? So I did kill you within range. Uh, I can't flurry anything. So what I'm going to do is, ooh, there's no ice pillar nearby to remove within four. I mean, I could remove the cow guys, but it'll literally kill it. So I am gonna just chuck up Blizzard. I need a four for this to go off. Get a nine. Mm -hmm. So I have got a one damage four inch hazardous aura nearby. Okay. And that's my golem all done. Right, I am going to go with the sword. Let me just show you my absolute brilliant hand. I feel like I flipped every severe in my deck just then. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you did that because I certainly didn't do that. <laughs> right, uh, I'm being pretty candid with Tom on this one. Yeah, um, you want deathbeds, we can we see got, it coming. I've also got deathbeds. But I have to kill this Kalgeist, and the only thing I can do is the sword. Now Which we have, is insignificant. It, the sword is insignificant, but the Kalgeist isn't. And we think the trigger is actually just a model killing, not who does the killing. Yes, we believe so. The other thing we've said as well, well this has came through my reading with Rasputin or on the forums or something, or on the Discord, I think you don't gain slow from the Kalgeist, because even though the Kalgeist counts as a ice pillar for friendly effects, and mm. even though anyone who understands English would think that harsh winter would apply the whole getting slow, Apparently, it's enemies don't treat it as an ice pillar, so therefore it won't trigger that, which is completely fair. And I yeah. wouldn't do it on Courtney on this because he's already got to do one big swing here yeah. anyway. This is a Hail Mary of Hail Marys yes. because he's going to get healed now. Points mean prizes, though. But if I'm somehow able to hit this and get a severe, I will kill it and I'll score. Exactly. So you're going to concentrate and whack. So I'm going to concentrate and whack because I'm going to attack once with a sword. Right. So. Defense of five. <laughs> Start six. 12. <laughs> I've got a 15. Right, I'm going to make it hard for you. I'm going to go to 18. Yeah, he misses. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. I can only apologise. <laughs> nah, it is what it is. My hand is not great. Um, yeah, that's unfortunately the sword done. Fair play. Right, we're going to again try and get a little bit higher up on activations here. So I'm going to go with the Blessed of December, who's going to try and top deck a leap to start with. Need a six. Get an 11, all the severe's coming out when I don't necessarily need them yet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leap to get into, I'm going to base contact with this, why not? And I'm gonna attack Gwil. So that's six versus your defense, mate. Oh, six. 
Yeah, you leaped and you didn't charge. Did yeah, that's fine. Uh, 10. Uh, 12. I'm going to go to 16. Uh, yeah, once again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am hard to wound though, but okay, I've only so got two health. So double negative flip here. Yeah. Uh, no triggers. One, two, three, two damage. Yeah, that's enough. He's dead. Now I have got eat your fill, so I will actually uh, heal two here. So I okay. go back up to full health. Now, rather than charging your other dude there, I'm just going to continue to play the game. And I'm going to take the interact action. Oh, my God. Tom, interact? Voting. This is uh, this is completely different. You I don't like this new Tom. New season, new Tom. I told you this was going to be a midlife crisis. <laughs> uh, and that's the blessed order. So talk through this mess. Yeah, there's, there's been a couple of, of um, me trying to figure out what I'm going to do. You need to kill this cat guy. She wants the deathbed. Yeah, because I can't get the strap because you, because of the ice pillars, you'll just be able to vault. You yeah. can vault willy-nilly. But Castor can't quite get there with enough movement. No, I was going to try and move and then dominate him and hopefully move him into position. I don't even have the mask in my hands. No. So everything I do is going to be a Hail Mary, but this is the closest thing I could yeah, get. Yeah, but this Kevin Nephilim is going to have to deal with yeah. cover and weird stuff going on here. So what the Kevin Nephilim is going to do is, at the start of his activation, he's going to overheal, so he's going to move two inches to there. Then he's going to walk, and Tom's going to do this, so yeah, I don't knock everything over. We're, we're allowing balcony placement here. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure what the intricacies of elevation of terrain are, but we're saying that there's cover here because yeah. of the staircase. It makes, it makes sense to me. At worst, it'd be concealment at best is yeah. cover, so I'm claiming the cover at least. Yeah, so he's going to use his focus. Yeah, because that's why we didn't say concealment, because we don't want to be on a negative straight off the bat. Exactly. And he's going to he's going to echolocate. Right, so this is a stat of five versus my movement, so I don't get a benefit to this. My movement's only four, mm -hmm. so I don't get a plus to this, but it will affect your damage flip. Yeah, so I'm only going to flip one card because of... Um... No, you're flipping two. Oh, Just sorry, yeah, it's yeah. a damage that I don't get, so... Oh, 16. Okay, please, please. you got flipping space like here, mate. Come on, please. No, <laughs> that's not enough. It's not enough. What's the total? It's, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's five. It, yeah. 16. Well, you, you still hit, though. Oh, yeah, still hit, but I'm not going to get what I need. Uh, this would be a double neg to a quad neg. I mean, I'll stagger him. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a quad neg because right. of cover putting a negative flip on your damage. Okay. So, red joker, maybe. Look, right, I don't ask for a lot. <sighs> Just let me red joker this, please, please. Amen. No! You've got, You've got one more. It's four cards. Oh, is it four so cards? Yeah, because that's the, it's one more for the cover. No. Uh, <laughs> I presume I'm taking what two damage down to one. Uh, yeah, and that's all. The, that's all the cards I just drew. Then. Oh, it's just one damage. It's a blast, though. You it's could, a blast. You could blast my golem if you want. I think I'd, that's probably a fifty mil gap. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's my charity for you, Courtney. Uh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yes. Have yes, it. it is. You can have it. Yeah. Is it enemies' damage get staggered. Uh, Models' damage get staggered. So they're both staggered. Go, there you go. Um. Yeah. Uh. It was worth a punt. Uh, but unfortunately, it ain't worked out so great. No. Uh, and that is the end of my activation. So, the red-headed silent one who's gone to Hogwarts, she's going to try and healing energy that bloody cow, guys, because it's not feeling great. Yep. So we need a six for this to go off. We get an 11. She loves it. It is going to heal. One, two, three. It's going to heal one. Do you know what? We'll heal two. Just, yeah, uh, I think that's fair. To be on the better course of that. So it's got three health currently. Uh, she's then going to try and chuck out some ice pillars. So again, we need a six for this to go off. We get an eight. She is successful. Let's just chuck an ice pillar there next to it, just so that it can heal and gain shielded. Is it a dropping ice pillar or a create? I think it's a create. So it can't go in base contact with anything, can I don't it? think you can go on top of that, top, that scheme ah, marker either. That's a fair shout. Do you know what? I can create one. There. That's perfect. That's yeah. in line of sight. And that's her order. Yeah, that's deathbed gone and, and yeah. dusted, unfortunately. Um, so I think we just we just play it out now. Uh, so uh, my blood vessel is going to discard the cards. So I'll discard this one uh, for being next to an ice pillar. And then I'm just going to move to here and move to here. And that is going to be him done. I'm still getting used to having like height five terrain. Like I'm still having to learn that I can actually see this with this person. Mm -hmm. So this silent one's going to go. She's going to 
arc and ice blast through this to attack this dude here. Okay, the blood vessel. He's pretty healthy, the blood vessel, aren't they? Yeah, so he's stat four, so he's going to be on defense six. Okay, stat five versus defense. You've got flipping space around yep. here, mate. Uh, 14. Flipping it. My deck has betrayed me. Yeah, mine's gone hot all of a sudden. Anything to cheat? Uh... Uh, I'll just put you on a, a double neg. Okay, so well. both on 14. Yeah. So double neg to flip, no triggers to declare, and I'd have to discard anyway. One, two, three. It's going to be a week of one damage. Yeah, and he's on three health now, so his stats will be down to four. Oh, do you know what? Then, Courtney, you've convinced me. I'll shoot him <laughs> again. Ice blast, stat five. I will say he's got hard to kill, so if that changes anything... No, actually, do you know what, though? I could have declared a trigger, and I didn't last time. But no, stat five versus your defense. Okay, a four. Because I've got built-in. Uh, Flipping it. <laughs> 14. Eight. Okay, anything to declare? Any uh, cheats, sorry? No. So it'll be a negative flip, because you're on... No, it'll be a straight flip to a negative, because you're hard to wound. Yep. I know, I'm hard to wound, hard to kill. Hard to kill. Okay, so it'll just be a straight flip. Yep. Um, 14 to eight. I will discard a card to declare mutilate. So okay, cool. when resolving, you get slow. So a straight flip will be a moderate of two blast. Okay. Down to one because of hard to kill. Well, it would be down to one anyway, I guess. But you're a slow, slow boy. Uh, I'm going to pass. That seems fair. That yeah. seems fair. I'll go Rasputina then. Uh, we've only got a hand of two cards, so we can't do my normal shenanigans of drawing stuff, but we'll go with her. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to create some ice pillars. So I start six, needing an 11. We get a five. We've been successful with that, and it's also frozen domain, so I can actually put two out with that trigger. So I'm going to put one next to the cavern Nephilim up here, just mm -hmm. to keep it honest. I'm going to chuck another one just there next to you, to mm -hmm. keep you honest. Her second action, she's then going to... We'll do a winter strike, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to arc it. I'm just going to shoot this guy. I'd rather him be, be yeah. dead now. So stat six versus your defense, mate. Or four. Uh, 11. <laughs> oh, dear. Eight. Anything? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, what are you on now? 11. 11. No. Okay. <laughs> There's no point. I will declare mass hysteria if by some miracle I don't kill you. Um, but negative flip? Yeah. Is going to be three, four damage. He with does. Because the, the blast will touch an ice pillar. Uh, Raspy's third AP she is going to use freeze over and she's going to try and attack cast storm she's going to reorient the camera so Rasputina is going to arc this attack through this one here to attack cast storm it's a shockwave it's stat 6 needing an 11 oh you're evasive aren't you yeah. actually yeah no so evasive basically says more suffer so I don't take any damage but you would do the conditions do you know what I'll just do a winter strike then so yeah. stat 6 versus your defence yeah. on cast storm uh, <laughs> there, oh, I mean... What's your defence? I'm on 18. I'm also on 18. Well, dear, oh dear. Well, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, hard to wound, though. So four cards lowest, yeah? Uh, yes, because we're, we're drawing. One, two, three, four. There's no red joker for you to worry about, so that is going to be two damage with a blast, which will hit an ice pillar, so it'll be three damage, mate. Okay. He's on seven health left. Hey, and then I'm just going to December's passage. I'm going to push this Count Geist that's up here. It's within two of this lady. So that takes the TN up to 13, I want to say. Hmm. Uh, so 11, 12, 13. I'm on a seven, so I need a six. Raspi's going to attempt to flip a six. She flips an 11. <laughs> Story of decks, this one, isn't it? Yeah. I literally said before this game, like to Courtney, though, I was like, this deck's been betraying me quite a bit. Was, no, not now. No, not it's now. on fire now. Uh, so I'm moving this one. So I'm going to move this Kalkgeist up to here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place her within two. She's just going to turn up there. Right. Well, I don't think there's much else more we can do, so we're just going to have some fun. So they Cal guaranteed the strat, at least. Yeah. So Castor is going to walk twice, because he's just a little bit out. Yeah, walk, walk. And he's going to charge the silent one. 
You're going to go this way, yeah? Uh, I don't want to be in, in his aura. It's four inches. You're going to be in it no matter what. Right, well, whatever do. then. I think because you you could go there. Yeah. But that's still within four. So yeah, for well, the sake just, of terrain. Yeah, I'll just smack him. So you'll take a damage from the push. Yep. And then afterwards you'll take a damage from the attack. Yep. But then you will be able to slap Oh, him. actually, no, because it's a shockwave in it. He ignores it. He's invasive. Oh, it's an aura. Yeah, you don't care. I don't care. I don't care about no winter. <laughs> In my day, the it's snow not, was up to the sky. It's not cold here. <laughs> uh, are you going to drop your focus? Uh, yeah, might as well. Uh, so, uh, I mean, you could not. That would be kind. No, I might as well. So, no. yeah, two cards. Against my move? Six against your move. Or five. Thirteen. Oh, come on, deck. <laughs> are you actually kidding? What are you on? Thirteen. I'll go to thirteen. So... Double it, negative to a straight because of your double positive. Yeah. Have it. I'm not, I'm not going to mess And the it. focus as well. So yeah, it'd be, so it'd be a straight. No, because it would be double negative and then, he, oh yeah, it'd be positive yeah. actually. Yeah, Pos, pos flip. Go on, have it. I haven't got severe severe my hand. Have it. Please, for the love of God. Yes, thank you. Uh, five damage. Uh, she's a Soulstone user. Yep. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. So reduce it by one i'll take four damage cool i will heal four which is not going to overheal me unfortunately down two health yeah jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it this is what we do about reports though the hail mary sometimes work yeah. out your deck hates you never play this deck again i know i know it's like the anti-pixel deck <laughs> <laughs> um the only thing i've got now is my bonus action uh yeah i'll do it i might as well so i need a four for this to go off just get wrecked, Courtney. Are you just, are you absolutely taking the mickey now? Um, yeah, he's going to move to the, so basically all he's going to do is he's just going to slam into the cow guys and then put a ski marker down. <laughs> really building these deathbeds. <laughs> really <laughs> Just building. let me have it. Just let me have it. Um, and that is cast all done. So I've just got my two cow guys left to go. I've got the strategy secured here. So I'm going to go with this one that's been taken a battering. Mm -hmm. It's going to activate and it's going to use Icy Winds also targeting this mm -hmm. Kalgeist. So we need a 6 for this to go off. And we have flipped a 10. We get a ram for defensive reflexes. That's always nice. So we're going to gain a shielded, which we'll just drop in there. That'll become two shielded in a minute. And we can push everyone who is within uh, 2 inches of these quote-unquote ice pillars 3 inches. We're just going to do a bit of a shuffle, essentially. So this silent one, we've said that this is just about not quite a gap for her to get mm. through. This one is going to push, actually we'll do Raspy first. Raspy's just going to push back to there. This silent one is going to push to there. Um, it doesn't really need to do anything for a second. It's still got like two AP, but it's like, well, what does it actually do with the two AP? I don't really know. Um, it is staggered, so it hasn't really got the biggest amount of move to it. It's got two moves, so I think it's just going to move twice to mm. like uh, here yeah uh, at the end of its activation it'll end near an ice pillar so it'll heal one it'll gain a second shielded so i think it's on four health ish it might even be on full but it's not really that much of a big deal and we'll flow straight into this one here this one is going to activate it is going to probably do the same thing so we're going to try and icy winds it's only really going to affect no we'll charge we'll charge we'll charge there okay uh, I'll drop my focus to slap Castor in his old wrinkly face. So this is going to be stat five versus his defense. A five. There they are, 16. Oh, 15, you lucky bugger. Right, does not succeed. Lucky, lucky, you've seen my cat deck this game. I'll hit him again. All right, go on. Yeah, I'll show you his boss. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Uh, I've got no shielded to lower, so it's negative flip. Is he hard to wound? Uh, he is hard to wound. So, three cards. It's going to be a point of damage. <laughs> uh, I could Icy Winds. There's no point. There's nowhere to push her to. There's no interacting that I need to do. So that is going to be the end of that Kalkgeist and the end of the turn. And at the end of turn four, we're kind of onto the dregs of our forces here now. We've uh, Well, one of us is. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've both secured the strategy. So it's still close score. It is still, it's yeah. No, it is still. Um, and we had some absolute shenanigans happen there. So we've drawn our cards. I've deadly pursued, by the way, to get the inside of the forest with the blessed. 
Um, I wasn't sure how to spend my last soul stone. I thought, does the silent one need it to deny deathbeds? I was like, no, I'll spend the stone for better cards. I flipped to 13 as Courtney was lamenting his hand, and then you also flipped to 13. An ancient pact made it. 40. Yeah, baby. So I think you're going to get your deathbeds no matter what happens here. But well, we're going to throw three attacks out and hopefully. And hopefully, happens. some will actually yeah. land. So, any thoughts aside from that? I think the strat's probably out the window at this stage, unless you're. Yeah. You have a Nephilim's not going to get it because it's next to a marker, really. Yeah, it's just schemes now. Scheme, scheme, scheme. Let's get on to it. Last activations of the last turn. Right. Thank you. Leave Thank her you. alone. Right, so we're going to go with cast on, surprisingly. Uh, this is my hand. Um, as you can see, there you go. Right. Two health left. Two health left. Can a 15 cost master kill a two cost? You're not within an inch of uh, a thing because we said these don't count. So you're, you're free to beat the living day. Right. Time. Castor is going to do devour on um, the silent one. Okay. Stat six gives you move. Movement five. 19. I think it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 13. Okay. Uh, it's a double flip, double yeah. plus flip. So it'd be a 19 to a 13 would be a straight, straight double positive. Double yeah. pos. So three cards. Black Joker. We can't be the Black Joker because we both discarded it. Uh, two severes, uh, five damage. She's very, very dead. I declare deathbeds. <laughs> the uh, the mark, the, the voting marker, and that scheme marker. The obviously. hardest anyone has ever worked. <laughs> <laughs> I am very pleased. Um, so how much health did he have? I think it was two, two wasn't it? Mate. So he doesn't overheal, unfortunately. But I, I, I don't care at this point. <laughs> I haven't got. I don't care. Um, okay. Well, that's good. Now we've got two more actions. And I'm not really sure what else to do with them. <laughs> um, Celebrate. I'm going to... Let me just have a bit of a think. I'm going to ensnare the ice golem. Okay. Oh, ensnare? Sorry, that is actually... No, I'm going to dominate the ice golem. It's because you're thinking of ensnare by Yeah, it, it, it is. It is. Uh, so, start seven against your willpower. Of five. 18. Uh, 13. With the enthrall trigger, which is what I wanted. Go for it. Uh, so you gain stunned and staggered. I will indeed. And I get to walk you. So all I'm going to do, I think, is walk you. Um, yeah, I'll just walk you here. Ice pillar. Can't walk over it. Oh, it's an ice pillar. Oh, God, sorry. Yeah, blocked him in for such reasons. <laughs> and then cat case. Hmm, is he going to get away? I might just have him charge then. Screw it. So he's actually going to charge to here and he's going to hit him. That seems fine. I mean, you will get rams added to your, but you can't declare triggers anyway. <laughs> no, I can't because it's... Uh... Uh, so, stat six versus the Kalgeist defense of five. Yep. 13. Uh, 12. Just go for it. Negative flip. Okay, negative flip. Three, four, six. Uh, that's a weak free damage. Uh, down to two, because the Kalkgeist is a, a very healed boy, thankfully. And then, third action, I'm going to attempt to throw this Kalkgeist. Okay, against stats, my willpower? Yeah, start setting against your willpower. Of five, seven. Um, a lot more than that. Go for it. Uh, so you just get staggered and stunned. Awesome. And then I'm going to do my bonus action. Send in the sword! Uh, I need a fourth fist to go off. It goes off. Yeah, the deck's complying this time. Yeah. It said, well, you know, <laughs> we've got to give him something. So he's just going to fly over to here uh, and then drop a stone. Drop a ski marker. Okay, so this is my hand going into the last turn. We pitched our Black Joker. Uh, I'm just going to go with the Blessed of December because I want to secure this strategy. So I'm going to try and leap over this forest. Huh! Oh, does not. I will what, cheat what? in this six. We're going to basically hop over, walk. In fact, we'll go the short way around to here. And we're going to interact just to be like, I will win the politic war, Castor. You may have killed our fine, lovely, cannibalistic girls, but we will secure democratic victory. And that is him. All done. Right, so Courtney has played a pass token. Um, as much as all my bloodlust is saying, like, eat this marker and charge Castor, I kind of need him alive, and we're basically playing chicken and mouse for who has last activation here. 
So I'm gonna take a very slow two inch walk to here, and I'm gonna take the interact action to put a ski marker within two of this ice pillar for secondary deathbed reasons. Okay. And that is my golem. I could eat some markers, but now we're all good. You passing again? Yes. Do you not want to play this game? After last Are turn, you tagging out? Look, I got my I got my points. I'm out. Right. I'm gonna go with Rasputina. She is going to try and create some ice pillars. So stat 16 and 11. We get a one. So I am going to cheat in a seven of tomes. Now, because I have cheated and I have an ice pillar nearby. Mm -hmm. You get to draw a I card. I can draw a card, so I'll draw that. I am going to declare frozen domain. So I'm going to create two ice pillars. Mm -hmm. The first one is going to go, if I move these markers out the way. Yes. There. The second one is gonna go within two of these two. Yes. What I'm then gonna to attempt to do is I'm gonna try and December's passage it. So, uh, it would be TN 11, uh, 13, 15. Yes. And I'm on a seven, so I think my mental math says I need an eight for this to mm -hmm. go off. So, need an eight. Get a four, we will cheat a in eight. a nine. Mm -hmm. We're within range of more pillars now, so I will draw my second card. Yep. I'm going to push this marker four inches and then place these two within two of it. So we'll just do that off camera. Okay. So you can see we have moved the silent one up this way. Raspy has stayed close because what I'm then going to do, we're doing a lot of, this is the thing with the new really released masters. They've got a lot of shenanigans of activations out of turn, haven't they? So they have. I'm going to take the interact to put a scheme marker within two of Castor, mm -hmm. but as far freaking away as possible as I can get. So there. Raspy's third AP, rather than attacking stuff, she's going to try her ice pillars one more time. So this is going to be stat six needing an 11. We get a 12, get but I'm going to cheat in this. I'm going to draw my third and final card because we've yep. got an ice pillar down here now. Such a good ability now, such a good errata to kind of like get around that. 100%. Uh, and I'm going to put two more ice pillars down. And I've just said to Courtney, I was like, how do I make the sword not nick stuff? And Courtney's basically said, you pen it in. So we're going to do some sort of triangle in such a way that there is no 30 mil space because that's how maths works. So can't be in base contact with you. So I'm going to leave no 30 mil gap between those markers. Okay. And I think that is Tina, all done. Yeah, I'll just go with the sword. Uh, I'm gonna discard a card. Uh, so I'll discard the six. Uh, and then, because of the ice pillars, and then I'm just going to smash, 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 and then smash this as well. And that should be the sword on. Nice. So after a great deal of measuring, I'm just gonna go with this Kalkgeist. I'm gonna to walk to this position here. I'm gonna slam my own ice pillar and it can't really balance. We'll do it off camera yeah. in a second. That's so I can fit a ski marker there. Okay, Tom has moved out of my snare. He I didn't even realize. <laughs> he needs to go back in. I was too busy thinking of my own scoring. <laughs> he needs to go back in. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Kevin Nephilim. Now, when we, just so you know, He's only got two health left, this guy. So I, I can't die. But he has got armor. So I have to do a week. Yes. I have to hit him, obviously, but I also have to do a week. So we're gonna we're gonna at the first start of his turn, he is going to overheal. So he moves two inches. I think he jumps roughly, down off the balcony. Yeah, roughly he's gonna end up. You're discarding a card to ignore the slow, obviously. Yes. I'm obviously doing that, or that would be completely pointless. <laughs> um then he's gonna focus because we need to make sure it's a week. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna, oh no, but that would put me on, uh, yeah, because I can cheat, well. Uh, so he's gonna charge to here. Yeah, one inch melee? One inch Just melee. Just about getting, yeah, yeah, you're all good. Get back, okay. So, stat six, against your defense, I'm gonna use the focus. Defense of five. 17. <sighs> well, <laughs> well. That's that. That's that then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that then. Well, you know, sometimes the deck hates you. Other times, the deck hates you. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna ambush backwards. <laughs> Get back out. 
You didn't see anything. <laughs> so I'm going to ambush the card. Yeah, they're going there. And I'm just going to go three inches. I think I'm screwed either way, unfortunately. Yeah, I think you're stuck. You could go back towards my card, but... Yeah. Oh, I can go for the... What am I doing? I can go for my own guy. But I think I'd, I'd still end up on top of him. Uh, yeah, I will just basically end up on top of the sword. There's just not a good way around it, so... Uh, I'll just go back a little bit. So I need to secure my second point of deathbed, so I need to uh, create another ice pillars, like somewhere over here and scheme next to it. So mm -hmm. the silent one's going to go. She's going to try and create some ice pillars. Needs a six. Gets a three. Cheats in a six. We're just going to create it there. I can create in base mm -hmm. with myself. And then I'm going to take the interact action <laughs> and just be like, that's in your half now, Courtney. That's totally legit. <laughs> Not that Tom forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so the last activation of the game is going to be really easy. I'm going to go this count, guys, by the doorway. I'm just going to try and icy wins its mate. Needed mm -hmm. a, what, six, I think, for this yep. to go off? Gets a 13, loves it. I'm going to try and keep Castor engaged just because of his shenanigans. And then I'm just going to move this one the hell away. It's just going to be like, no, don't want to be near any scheme markers. Don't want to look at any scheme markers. Don't want to acknowledge any scheme markers. Yeah, no, that's fine. Handshake on camera. There we go. Good game. So at the end of the game, this is the picture. I have scored the strat again. I've managed to secure deathbeds and I've managed to secure deliver a message. We've got a scheme marker near Castor here. Mm -hmm. We've got two scheme markers near two ice pillars here. Mm -hmm. So we think by our reckoning it's eight points to four. Yeah, it seems to be that way. Wonderful game. I get to eat the people in the tavern. You can have the scraps. You get to have the kitty litter outside. Oh, but uh, nice. yeah. <laughs> we'll go to the post ah, well. game and we will talk it through. And we are back, and that was the best learning experience I could have had. Thank you very much for that. You're like, more than welcome. I feel like I've got a grab. I mean, Raspy's activation still terrified me and took me like two minutes of like planning, but the rest was cool. Castor's not as bad as I thought. I, I, See, I told you. Warm me I told up to you. Castor. The urn bearer was definitely needed to die though, because that's yeah. a lot of that's a lot of good. Yeah, th that's the one thing with Castor, and a lot of Castor players will say is that once the urn bearer dies, you lose a lot. So she's target number one. Yeah. I think with the Do you have new stuff. I, there's a problem with redundancy though. Yeah, it's, 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 it, there's, it, there's, it, different schools of thought, let's put yeah. it that way. I think with the, the new worms that the are coming ashes, out, yeah. it's going to be less, there's going to be less of an issue because you're still going to be able to heal. Yeah. Um, um, but we'll have to see with that. You get worms. I get a great elk and a croc. <laughs> hey, my worms I are win. awesome. Your worms. My worms are awesome. No, I'll take no them one's every day. Bad about My leeches. Worms. But no, um, let us know as always who your MVP was. I don't actually know. Like there were some big were observations. Deck. Definitely <laughs> was not Courtney's deck. Um, I think the MVP will have to go to Johnny. We probably put it at the start yeah. of the video. We're going to shout again. The guy painted up Courtney's castor keyword just in a flash, and it, it was. They look beautiful. They did. I was in. A, I was in. A, um, yeah. Tom wants to be called in a couple of weeks. I I can't. I've not got this. And Johnny came in. This goes and above my one model it. a year minimum. That I can yeah. Imagine. But no, beautiful and yeah, really, really glad to actually have this season underway. I've been desperately looking forward to playing Raspy and I'm looking forward to learning more. We might try Raspy too next time. Ooh. We'll see what Chris brings, I dread to think. Um, but a massive thank you for watching. As always, we wouldn't have done the normal intro at the start of the video, so we are very much casual players playing for fun. Just rules mistakes are obviously going to happen because learning crews. I mean, especially this one, because I don't think you've actually played this crew before. And I only had a couple of games because I I, we wanted to keep it balanced. The so. semantics of ice pillars is a little bit weird in the rules, <laughs> but no, I'm Master, thank you for watching. We're very much glad to be back and we hope you've enjoyed this. Let us know down in the comments below and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Well, a massive thank you for watching that video, guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find some more, this should be over here. And if you want to support the channel and the content that we create here, there's links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.